Opie Anthony, Jim Norton, and now Patrice O'Neill in studio playing Helium Comedy Club in Philadelphia, PA. One show Thursday, two shows Friday, two shows Saturday at the Helium Comedy Club in Philadelphia. Heliumcomedy.com for tickets. That's the easiest way. Or Big Mama Prods on Twitter to see what Patrice is about. I wanted to read one thing because Patrice was talking Oh, well, first of all, oh. the, the legal weapon thing. Oh. Uh, a lethal weapon, excuse me. Yes, I was talking about General McAllister, I keep saying. And I said it was somebody from the Kennedy oh. administration. And I'm now being humiliated. It was the general from <laughs> Lethal Weapon that they kept. <laughs> was, instead of McChrystal, like you said, McAllister. <laughs> if you make that mistake, we have no business doing this type of discussion. Dude, I am such an asshole. <laughs> this type of a discussion. But Patrice was talking about, uh, you know, like, is it a racial thing or whatever, the way that they're kind of saying we don't want a black boss. And the more I'm reading about this, McChrystal and his staff, they don't respect... Uh, there's one thing, Team McChrystal likes to talk shit about many of Obama's top people on the diplomatic side. One aide calls Jim Jones a retired four-star general, a clown who remains stuck in 85. Politicians like McCain and Kerry said another aide, turn up, have a meeting with Karzai, criticize him at the airport press conference, and go back to Sunday talk shows. Frankly, it's not very helpful. Only Hillary Clinton receives good reviews from McChrystal's inner circle. Hillary had Stan's back during a strategic review, and uh, she said Stan wants something, give him what he needs. That's the only one they like, is Jeez, Hillary, really? of all those people. So if you think they have a trouble with a, a black boss, I mean, they're willing to have her, which is a kind of a, a, a woman with man's legs boss. <laughs> 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 hmm, interesting. I never would have thought. To, yeah, uh, especially because yeah. Hillary, I bet you she makes a run for it. Oh, uh, yeah, I bet so. I bet you she makes a run for it. They're just saying there was yeah. some kind of poll that was taken that said... Uh, that she uh, has like a presidential approval rating uh, bigger than Obama um, and any of the candidates that they would put up against her right now. So she'll run. More importantly, what is Patrice making over there? Paper, Hopefully. paper airplane? No, you made a little delicious thing for yourself. What, oh, what? Crystal Light. Oh, are you doing Crystal Light action? I, I stopped for a while, but I love the crystal the light. Water starting to taste like it's garbage. God After damn. a while, it's like enough with the water. Holy I gotta shit. spice this Boring. shit up. Fucking lizard piss, nigga. I need to need a drink. <laughs> Why'd you stop? Is that is it bad? Well, well, yeah, that. it has aspartame. Yeah, yeah, you, know, you gotta be careful gotta... that shit. What what flavor you go with? Um, have you tried the uh, iced tea yet? Oh, I love the iced tea. Crystal light iced tea. Oh, this is a uh, raspberry lemonade. Sweetie. Yeah. They, they, they made the formula much better for you to feel. Really? Yeah. <laughs> for you to feel good about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got the naked cowgirl here. We got Sandy Kane here. Oh, yeah? They need like five minutes to get into their little outfits. This is uh, <laughs> the big, big, the big story. I mean, forget about that. What is there? An oil well? Something happened? It's on Drudge. Uh, what it makes it huge, doesn't it? Sandy Kane made Drudge. <laughs> with this nonsense. Who said why? That, but the Sandy Kane naked cowboy <laughs> uh, controversy, just the big story. She is Drudge. <laughs> <laughs> why is it? Why do you keep showing the guy, the, the, the bad guy from Animal House? Oh, Niedermeyer? Yeah. Or... Is... <laughs> oh, that's the, that's the guy? Douche <laughs> <laughs> uh, is the general? <laughs> that's... That is oh, really oh, good. Niedermeyer face. <laughs> Niedermeyer. <laughs> so we're just uh, setting up for Sandy Kane. Uh, you, you following the Times Square controversy? I, I read about it, and it's like, <laughs> the naked cowboy sickens me. I just, I just, Thank you. He just sickens me. We had him me. on the show. Did you hear his little interview? He takes himself way too seriously. Oh, wait. Only a, only a guy that could do that, who, who can be a homeless man making half a million dollars a year selling pictures. He's panhandling. And then say, I'm going to fucking be the only guy that does this? Right. Yeah, he's a panhandler who, uh, Fuck him. what he does is nonsense. He's, but here's, a, here's the only thing that might have him get some claim to fame. He does it in complete cold weather, too. Yep. I, I give him, well, I give him nah, credit. He's a not soldier. so much. He's getting a little lazy. Seen him in the snow. Oh, really? When he first started, he was out there. Oh, yeah. Now, uh, winter day, with maybe it hits 50, he'll get out What's there. What's his stance? Is it because she's calling herself naked? or His stance is this. He he saw an opportunity to get himself on TV. He's using Santa Kane to get some publicity. That's all it is. Does he need more? He's a fucking, he's, he's like the, he's second to the Statue of Liberty. He loves when people <laughs> talk about him. Yeah, but that's all this is about. He's not going to go and sue Sandy Kane. It's not worth it. There's nothing she, he can do. She's pretty much homeless. She has no money. 
And she's going to continue because she's an asshole. Yeah. Lo- and we love her. They have a cease and desist that's going to kick in July 1st that she can no longer do that. By who, who, gonna... who gets to say that, though? Exa- exactly. She'll be Him, there his July lawyers, 1st. she'll be there. And then what are they going to do? Like serve, serve her another thing or, or make her go to court? She's not going to do any of th- that shit. I tell you, who <laughs> before Sandy gets in here, I saw a fucking documentary, I Am Comic. On, uh, yes, uh, oh. I saw it. I thought it was one of the best. Um, oh, really? Co- uh, comic com- com- comedy things because it had a sidebar of Rich Shiner. Remember Rich Shiner? I was frustrated by that whole angle that yeah, he put I, himself I, in his uh, into the documentary. No, like that, that. no, they put him in it because yeah, he, I know it he knew it, everybody. Somebody explained it, and then he, but then he got he started wanting to do it again. But mm. the thing is, the thing that got me is, uh, I mean, this is a this is day late in a dollar show, but I, I really feel bad for uh, Joe Rogan. And, Carlos and he put a foot, oh. Joe Rogan really, he you know, and I know he probably anybody that says is like on his side or whatever, he probably go fuck you because he went through a lot of shit dealing with Carlos. But Carlos finally just admitted said, to everything. I fucking steal. Why can't we have that clip? We've talked about this two or three times on the show already. It, I, he basically he's, admits not, everything. No, not basically. He says, no, I, and, and I'm, his I'm being attitude. Polite. His attitude was this: like, yeah, I fucking steal. If I'm in the back of the fucking room, you better watch your fucking material because yeah, I'll take yeah. it, remix it, and make it a hit. Just like, like a rap guy. Because I'll add Mexican and I'm going, to it. Well, that means somebody is old royalties, and somebody <laughs> you made a lot of money mm-hmm. off of these these people that you steal from. But he's justifying by saying if rap artists could take someone's like old they song and make it. it I, I understand, but that's that's basically what he was saying. If a rap guy could do that, I could do the same thing the, and make it my own. And the argument against Carlos would be that a joke is contingent upon catching you off guard. Music is not. Mm-hmm. Like, a joke has an effect the first time you... You know what I mean? It's, it's, oh, it's a it different is. thing. And could you please stop saying joke? This is the thing that kills me. Don't yell at me. I'm, I'm reading... Not you. <laughs> is that a good quality? <laughs> back, in the, back in the day, people okay, stole jokes. It was like two Jews walked in the bar. Yeah, that's yeah, right. yeah, It was yeah, meant yeah. to be told to everybody. Carlos is taking... Fucking material. your Other life's analogies, man. Yeah, because these are stories based on your life and yeah, you're a little twist on them. And then just, like but you said, was, adding Mexicans he was to also it. Well, in, he was also in it saying... Hold on, why don't we just play the clip? Wait, 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 wait. I just want to say he, he, he wasn't... The clip? Yeah, th- that he... It, this is not just the clip he's... Di- he's in the whole thing saying, here's what the fuck you supposed to be as a comic. If you ain't this as a comic, you ain't shit. If you ain't that as a... And then he says, I steal, which Damn. nullifies. He doesn't have a position no. on comedy. It, 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 that means that, uh, what's those, cover bands? Mm-hmm. Don't need to say they're cover bands. Yeah, they can just they say just they're the go, band. Well, fuck you. I'm, I'm Journey. I'm, playing, I'm fucking Journey, nigga. I'm Ario Speedwagon. I'm fucking. Well, how about you just know you have a different name? And you play all their songs and just say, and, yeah. And, and just say, what? I'm, I yeah. can't believe he did this. It's my song. Like he admitted it to it. It was bad move. Man. Well, the, the quality's not that great, but uh, this is what we got on the fly, at least. Let's play this. Carl uh, Mincy admits to stealing on this documentary. It's on Showtime, I believe. It's really, really well done. Hit it. Really get laughs wrung out of it. A lot of people out there are going to ask, why did they interview Carl about this team? Carl is a joke thief. Carlos steals jokes, and we know this. And I, listen to me, and look at me when I tell you this with all honesty. If you think that I steal jokes, fuck yeah, you're right. Of course I fucking steal jokes. Are you out of your fucking mind? When I come to a comedy club, you better run, bitch. You better get the fuck off stage. Because if anything you say is even remotely funny, I'm going to make it mine. And all I'm going to do is say Mexican in the front. I'm like a rapper. I just sample shit and make it my own. Was that really my song? I don't know, but it sounds like mine, but it kind of sounds like somebody else's. It's a hit, bitch! Is he, is he being ironic? The only yeah, thing the I want to is... know is, did they edit him a certain way? I'm, I'm not saying he's right, but was he saying, oh, yeah, is that what you want to hear? That I steal? Like, Sarcasm? No. I'm not saying it was, but it, you, you never know how they edit well, that shit. That yeah, sounded really yeah. bizarre. It does sound bizarre. To, to admit how, it like that What is he saying top? about that? Because this, uh, this documentary is everywhere. People are watching this fucking thing. He doesn't look good. Right, that pisses a lot of people off, especially in your well, business. Yeah. Just about everybody in your business. Because it makes, it makes up-and-coming comics, they see Carlos, he's winning. He, right. He, he has money, right. he yeah. shows, fame. Multi-millionaire, man. And if you're in it for that, then mm-hmm. you come in and go, why would I ever 
work hard to all my own material. Why would yeah. I suffer? He when just, you ju could just, he just justified that. it for all the young guys coming up. So now you got a young guy coming up. He, he could just try to do Patrice's stuff. I'm just going to Norton stuff. I'm just going to steal, which people right. do. We people steal, but, but it was like, always one of those things like you don't want to be caught stealing and right. But everybody now everybody does but, it. But like no, but now he's doesn't. saying, hey, it's okay. Look, look what it did for me. He, and and that's what I'm saying. It it destroys. That's really bad. Man. Everything and I and I and I and you know he's a the Carlos is a likable guy, man. I I like Carlos. I see him. You, you he's not a yeah. guy. He's one of those guys you can't hate. So it's like, but he really it, he has no stance on anything else in comedy. He can't say, here's my philosophy, right. when you're a thief. Right. Like, you're justifying stealing. On There's nothing on any level, but the, 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 the bad part is Rogan was on this, and, and you know, they, they ended up pushing him out away a, a like he was a, a nutbag for going this hard. I wouldn't go that hard because there is no justice. Because <laughs> yeah. he's going to still win. My thing is, who I'm mad at, not at the business, I'm mad at any person after he after he goes, yeah, I fucking steal. You better watch out and this and that. That go see him. Yeah, that's gonna go uh, see him. Are there right, fans right. that right, do hold that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, happy butt, Jesus, from Ann Arbor. Carlos Ned had a meltdown on Twitter after this came out. Google it. So maybe maybe there's more info Go to this Google whole thing. It. Google it. Google it. Yeah, why uh, uh, they take him out of context? Maybe. Mm -hmm. All right, man, but we should be seeing the calls and see a uh, media storm. Yeah, yeah, of, he would should be dude, out that's there going, not what look, I did. they fucked me on this, right? He did. That's Carlos' style. He, he he and but you see how he set it up as if it was a joke. Mm -hmm. It was. It was. I, I can't believe it was out of context. But if it was, it was because it, it's possible. But uh. he just was. He's like. Well, uh, then someone fucked him. I, I want to know if there's more info on this whole thing. Cause then someone fucked him bad. I, I didn't see any editing in that. Though. No, I did not. I didn't see editing. Either. But I'm seeing what, what what Norton's saying is like maybe he yeah. could have been like, oh, you know what? Yeah, I'm a fucking thief. But that right was at the beginning of the conversation that could have like came sarcasm, in after like something was said, right? Like, what do you want me to say? What do you want me? What do people want Carlos to say? Hey, and then all of a sudden, I, I'm not saying that he well, doesn't steal, but well, that's a dirty cut if that's what it if is. If he did that, he blew it because no yes. one is is buying. You're right. That's how he meant no. it at all. So maybe uh, that's why backfired. he had the meltdown on Twitter. Maybe it did backfire on him. I don't know. I remember, yeah, when I saw that, too, I was like, that is really fucking weird. The documentary <laughs> in general was great, though, huh? I enjoyed it. I, I thought it... It's a sad life you guys it, have. I, it's a mess. <laughs> it's a sad life. That's what I got out of it. The, the, one, the one that got to me, sad. Uh, Dana Gould, the one that, like, got, where he goes, man, I was, in the, I was doing three shows. I was in the first ten minutes... Of the first of three hours that I had to do, meaning the first show at the first 10 minutes, and I had to do two more shows after that that evening. And I said, What the fuck <laughs> am I doing? What am I doing? And I felt that minute where I'm like, Hey, and I went, Holy. Then, and the crowd's not really loving me oh. automatically. It's not just, okay, it's like I gotta work, and I just go, Oh my God! Wait, what was what? it? He was having a bad show. No, he's just. Oh, there, there was a segment of of quitting. Oh, like oh. of guys. Like one, another guy was like, I get on stage. I, I, just, some guy you never heard of, but he goes, I, I'm Tim Allen's friend. I'm talking to Tim Allen. I'm talking to this guy. Then I get on stage, and a guy got his foot on the stage, and he's half holding his girl's titty and looking at me <laughs> like, What the fuck are you doing? It, it, it was a, it was a good goddamn documentary. It was, well it was one done. of, yeah, it was one of the best ones. Of, yeah, like, the guys the explained why they got out of it, it was. It was it, that was a sad moment. Like then, you go, fuck balls. I felt like. And that. And then before. the people explaining the comedy condo, where you guys, I'm sure you did. You ever stay in the condos? Very early. Yeah, well, I, 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 yeah. I got lucky being in New York. Where well, you got to like, explain mm -hmm. that, though. The, the uh, comedy owners, instead of putting you guys up in a hotel, they're like, you know what? I'm just going to buy, gonna buy a, a local condo mm -hmm. and just put the comics uh, up in this condo. And it's I just did it a in shithole. Arizona. The last condo I stayed in Arizona in 1999, it was just like, it's a it's like They don't a take care of it. It's just a it's just a mess, and it, and and it's it, you know it's disrespect instead of putting you in a nice hotel where you can fucking <laughs> order room service. You're stuck in the middle of a highway. And this shit, and somebody picks you up, you you know, unless you rent a car. But it's, you know, people will go, ah, shut the fuck up, comics. But yeah. <laughs> it, it, you fucking do it. You know what I mean? It's like that 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 part on quitting. And then Rich Seidner made a decision to come back and just to see what he was going through as an open micer that no one knew because he's been done for 12 years. And I'm going to tell you, show business keeps you looking 
much better than you should. <laughs> Tim Allen, who started at the same time Shiner did, comes and he's looking relevant, snazzy shirt, mm -hmm. looking young, looking delicious. A little dye, a little dye yeah, in his hair. Shiner's looking like Got just, the glasses. Oh, he's a little looking designer old. Action. Yeah, man. Yep. And it's it's like stay in show business. <laughs> <laughs> Don't quit. Stay in the business. Just, <laughs> there's something about it that keeps you fucking... Keeps you looking young. Yeah, it keeps you looking... I'm looking young. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, shit. I'm telling you, man. His stuff on stage was rough, too. But, I mean, he was just starting his comeback. And he was a monster. He so, was. I, yeah. I, I vaguely remember him seeing his face. HBO specials back when those no were big time. Yeah, man. He was yeah. bad, dude. And why did he quit? <clears throat> I forgot what they said. Because uh, he was like, he's like, look, it's like I'm paying for, I'm paying to keep my family in storage. Like, I'm, like, I'm. Just paying for it storage, really. My family don't see me. Store your family. Yeah, it's just that makes sense too. You just you get home on on a on a Monday and you leave on a Tuesday, like back when people did Tuesday through. Oof. You know they you did went three home for shows on Saturday. Yeah, yeah. So just, you're just paying. You're making money so you can pay to keep them eating and and a roof over their head that you'll never share dinner with or live in the house. That <laughs> does seem a little odd. And he said something else. You either two kind of comics, one that goes to the people, or one that the people goes to them. <laughs> yeah, and, and that hurts. Mm. Wow. Wait, wait, wait. How come that hurts? You're, you're, because you're... I'm, because going to the people means you got to go where the gig is. Right. When people come to you, you go to the gig, and the people come oh. see you. <laughs> do they mean that, or do they mean attitude wise? Oh, uh, they don't mean like the way you perform. It means like. I got to do a cruise ship. That means I got to go mm -hmm. to the people. To the people. Okay. <laughs> You're going to the people. Oh, you mean success level. Yeah. Tuka, yeah. Hey, oh. yeah. We, might have, <laughs> we might have more info on this. Jay in Staten Island. Jay. Hey, happy birthday, Jimmy. Yeah. Hey, listen, Mark Marin did uh, over two hours of podcasts on this whole thing, episode 75 and 76. Can I slow you down for a sec? Did they uh, specifically talk about this documentary that Patrice is mentioning? Specifically. And okay. He, he uh, spoke to Carlos Mencia for over an hour. Then he talked to the guys that worked with Carlos. Then he went back to Carlos. I started off hating Carlos, and I loved him. Then I hate him again. Now he's just a douche. <laughs> well, what did he say about this documentary? Was he being serious, sarcastic? Was it? What, did he uh, get edited badly? What happened? No, I mean, he basically admitted to Mark that, yeah, he stole. Um, that, yeah, it was just, you know, one of those situations that guys that worked for him, he figured that, you know, because they worked for him, it was his material. He, he's just a really kind of a douchey thing to do. Yeah. And you, you do feel bad for the guy, but to, to listen to Mark's take was very interesting because, I mean, obviously Mark knows a thing or two about a thing or two. <laughs> you know, but, uh, oh, hey, Patrice. Patrice. Yeah. I loved you on Arrested Development. Oh, thanks, Best bro. character ever, man, for real. I, I yeah, liked I'm, you I'm on that, too. That. Yeah. Listen, um... I, I, I know it's two hours of, of uh, you know, listening to, to Mark talk to these guys, but they have really good stories and really good insight, and you do come come away knowing the whole story. And I agree with Patrice, though, because Carlos is a likable guy. Like, that's, like we, we flew together. I forget where I was. We were on the same plane together, and we were just kind of walking a baggage claim together. And it's like he was talking about stealing on something. He said something about a Cosby bit. He's like, I did it, and then someone said the cause. He just started talking about it. Yeah, but, yeah, he's but he like, said he never all right, you the talk. Cosby bit. All right, now you talk. Sorry, you would die. All right, Jay. I just talked to him. All right. <laughs> I'm just teasing him. I know, Ernest Eager. <laughs> all right, Jay. Thank you. Let Jim Norton finish. Okay, what happened? No, I, I don't know when this was filmed, but he said something about a Cosby bit, and he goes, and I did it. Maybe he didn't say so. Maybe he said somebody told him about it. He might have mm -hmm. said that. I don't want to misquote the guy. And he said, uh, and I was like, holy shit, I can't believe I did it. He was, he was like making like saying like he, he didn't did know it. at the time. I, that's what he was saying okay. today. It's an all-time Cosby bit. I, look at I let it go because people have thoughts that are similar, but it's an all-timer. It's 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 from his which Cosby bit. It, it's it's the one where he essentially. What? Oh, sorry, sweetie. It's the one where he I essentially. Oh, you look uncomfortable. I'm trying to help you out. I didn't want to have oh, okay. pickle juice all over. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm just starving, man. It was essentially, essentially, uh, the, the bit was how fathers get no respect, and he teaches his son from the time he's born to the time he's, like, fucking able to walk, how to play football and how to lift weights and how to do, boom, 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 and he's just doing his whole thing, and Cosby's building up to this crescendo of he scores a touchdown in front of 800,000 people at oh, a fucking thanks, stadium. Yeah, yeah, and then, then I, he just I love goes, you, Mom. I love you, Mom. Right. Or, 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 hi, Mom, or whatever. Yeah. Carlos... 
took it, remixed it, and me? made a hit. That, that, that is uh, such a staple. That's a Cosby bit. It's a Cosby bit. Like everyone knows that. So one. you would have to know that bit. But it's like it's like look, I could have looked by. I'm gonna tell you something. I, I he I was in awe of Carlos at when we did the Baltimore uh, uh, virus tour. Mm -hmm. And Baltimore. They were booing him. Jersey. Oh, it was Jersey. Uh, uh, no, yeah. no, that was Baltimore. That was Virginia. It, I know. I know it was because we was we was we was. I, we was, I did we a went. radio with um the sports guys. Oh, okay, okay. And and um, a look at this guy. Yeah, and like, Carlos is a nice. I don't dislike him as a person. I wish he didn't do that so I could just, you know. But he they come out and they were booing him. It was a a lot of people booing him. Yeah. And yeah. enough where I said, oh, damn, he's going to get he's off gonna stage. He's going to be ugly, right? He turned that shit around. Like, I like I mean, I've never even seen no shit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Where they hated him off the bat. And they yep. tried to hate him, and he beat their hatred with it. So, as a, I, but after he goes, I steal with this pride, and you better watch out because I'm going to take it. It just, he becomes, he's a vaudeville guy. He's not. Uh, I'm going to want to know. He's that. not a soldier. Like, like people like Rogan is. A, Rogan has never been accused of stealing. No. Nope. Ever. No. And not and not because he'll punch you in the mouth. Rogan <laughs> is a deep dude. Well. I talked to Rogan. He's a fucking he got magical tattoo. Rogan is a yeah, we know. We all know. fucking that's floating. We he probably know. floats his shit and leaves his body and all kind of shit. <laughs> he actually does float. He's got one of those tanks. <laughs> yeah, Ro yeah. Rogan is the real deal when he's talking about his shit. Mm -hmm. Yes. And Although, let me amend one thing you're you saying. Know, I'm just saying, dude. Rogan is a drug addict. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but he makes it sound so cool. <laughs> but, but, that's, but do you know that's, that's uh, I agree. It's just... <laughs> and, and no one... Usually, the one thing about comics, even though they, we hate each other, comics will rarely, like, sly and say, mm -hmm. you are a hack or you're a thief. Right, right. And you're not. They might go, nah, it just ain't as... But, it's been going on so long, and Rogan took a L a little bit for it. Uh, no one else stood up, but that's yeah. the way. That's the way the business is. It's like I would never martyr myself to stop Carlos. <laughs> I just look at now Carlos like you have. Like they kept interviewing him during the during the thing, and it's like you know what? You don't have any more uh, theories. You know, after you rob a bank. I don't want to hear your theories on hard work and success. <laughs> like, here's how you make it. Unless you, unless he breaks, unless you rob a bank, go to prison, come out, work from the bottom up. Mm -hmm. If he, if he just did that again, but it would take ten to twenty years. Let me ask you this now. Uh, this is the sad part of the whole thing. Doesn't Carlos Mencia have a shitload of original material? I don't know. We he's, don't know. He's, he's an Ira Iranian. These well, are all things well, that well, I don't well, give a fuck about until well, you just say I right, steal. Well, what's your thought on that? He's a he's I don't know. Do you think most of his stuff is stolen from other comics that came before him and he made it his put it, own? Put it this or way. Or do you think he has a lot of original material and unfortunately with the stealing shit now everyone thinks he he just steals all jokes. Let's let's why okay here's original material. Like what I'm trying to say is he just never needed to steal. Here's original material. I'm I'm, I'm Carlos Mencia. I talk like a Mexican. But I'm I'm from I'm Iraqi <laughs> or whatever he is. That's original. That because you know some about him. Like he said, he he said his act. I Mexicans. I mean, yeah. play his act. It's nothing about it. Like I'll talk about having diabetes. That's not. You don't find out that I'm fucking completely healthy. Yeah. <laughs> you don't find it out. You don't go, this fucking cocksucker stole my disease. There's too many people. He's just that have not, said this. There's too many comics that have said that he steals for you to just go, well, it's just a bunch of comics saying it. Like, if it was one comic, you might think someone had an axe to grind or something, but Jesus Christ, it's been it's, forever. It's, it's, and now he admits it, man. It's just. Now admitting it like that. And if there's Ooh. no backlash, and I'm not trying to ride, get. But if there's no backlash from people. That means it's like I'm performing in front of, mm -hmm. <laughs> like maybe some people that would that I go. Why don't I just steal? Mm -hmm. Why the fuck don't I just steal material? That's proof, just like rappers, and I don't condone that yeah. shit. But just like them, I go. Look, I'm gonna pay some young guy who's been in the business six months. Does has a great premise. I've seen it all the time. Great premise doesn't have the skills. To make that shit funny. I've, I've been there. There's times when I started where I go, man, I got this great bit, you know, in my mind, but it's just not going to execute because I'm not good enough 
to mm. skillfully do it. And so why don't I just give this guy a hundred bucks who needs it? That's his first comedy dollar. Let me take that bit because I see the magic in it. And don't give him a dime. At least Carlos could say, I pay these guys their royalty fee. Yeah. Something. That's yep. what rappers do. They go, look, they don't just go, man, I was sitting in the back of the room and watched James Brown <laughs> and said, this old fool motherfucker, I'm going to make me a song. They got to pay that nigga money, man. Well, and it's a state. But that's, uh, they don't have a choice in that. Thank you. They don't have a choice in that. It's set up that way. And if you can like prove... Like fucking uh, Jay-Z doing Forever Young drives me insane because I remember the original song. But he has to pay. And he has I, to pay. I, I think it was Alphaville. So whoever owns the rights to that band, Alphaville, is getting paid because Jay Jay-Z decided to make it his own. This might be precedent because he admit this. I've never heard anyone go, I steal comedy. <laughs> he, this is possible. My for the get business. a couple of dollars some, wow. to, to, to fix that. But, but, but we got to make it clear... That that's why no one's ever gotten fucking sued before. Cause, yeah. Because we have similar. See, a song is copywritten. I can't copyright right. my fucking jokes and say An I, no one else could have this thought because yeah. that's why. I'm, like when I start off, I watch if if there's a feature in front of me, I watch the whole show. The first night, I have to watch the whole show to see what this guy does. Mm -hmm. After he does it, then I show him what I do. I go, and he might say some shit that I go, fuck. I never go, hey, I'm going to outrank your, your comedy because I, I, I do a bit like that. I'm going to outrank your comedy because I feel like I've written enough. So I go, okay, you do that. Okay, this guy does that. Now let me show him what I do. And we all know we're not going to step on each other's toes. Uh -huh. Sometimes there's middles that want to show me that they got a bit like that, too. I just want to show you. <laughs> it's like, didn't you see what the fuck I do? <laughs> I don't give a fuck that you have a bit like that and you want to show me that you're genius, you fucking dickhead. I'm telling you, I watched you to go, that, I'm not going to step on, because I could have showed you. Right. And do it better, you fucking middle. <laughs> you guys got to work together to make the show that, real good. But that's what I'm saying. It, there's respect that you want to have in this game. And Carlos just said, "Fuck the game." And 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 just to and he's winning. Well, to simplify, it's really bad for you guys because now young guys are going to think it's okay. Well, don't and forget, a lot of young guys were really scared to go down that road. He's been humiliated by this. This is a weird. That's what he, what you saw him doing there. It's almost I was like, like, what are you doing? If you dude, get caught Jesus. cheating and you just go, "Yes, I cheated," it, it's it's such an admission. Of defeat, it's empowering something that is just. Mm. There's nothing worse for a comedian because Carlos doesn't need the money. Carlos is a fucking millionaire, mm -hmm. yeah. and when you're on that level, you want a certain amount of respect. And with a singer, you're right. Patrice, they copyright songs, but when you play a James Brown clip, then that, nah, and then that, everybody knows that's James Brown. Nobody thinks that's your song. Everybody knows you're playing a James Brown right. clip. It's not, well, like not only that does everyone know it's James Brown, James Brown's getting a little taste, right? Or the people that own the James Brown thing now, which which makes me say sampling James Brown, sampling. Elvis is all that shit, whatever you want to sample. To sample, that's why I think people who are who are into hating uh, Led Zeppelin, Led, Led, Led Zeppelin, yeah. for what they did, yeah. are like, you're stealing from nobodies and you're becoming famous. Like, Carlos, it goes in the back of the room. He doesn't look at Tim Allen and go, you know what, I'm going to steal Tim Allen's grunt. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Some new kid. He's still up. some young kid who needs that fucking joke. That could have been, right. that he been needs the joke. That, that, joke. that could have been the joke that got him on, you know, Leno or Kimmel After or something. I've been doing you know? it for twenty years. If you can make up, I mean, this is. I have some some buddies, man, that I found out was tasting some jokes, man. <laughs> tasting. And some I had to jokes. fucking talk to him because I go, look, man, you have to learn how to have people not laugh. That's the key to creating yes. jokes. You got to fucking toughen up and bomb, you douche. <laughs> Carlos is a killing machine. He doesn't know how to bomb. So he's never going to go, I'm going to sit in a lab and make experiments and go, oh, that, that was awful. <laughs> that he's not going to do that. He's super arrogant. He's wow, that's a he's great a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a He kills. He, he doesn't, it's not like he's going to work things out, man. And, and he, try something that might fall on its ass and, right and, and that's what you have to do to be a, a writer man mm -hmm. you see colin colin has a new hour every second louis ck has a new hour every year yep because he bombs where he goes louis <laughs> takes a l but he's good enough to go hey, i'm doing an hour i'm gonna fucking bomb for a half and i'm not gonna bomb for a half 
I'm going to kill for 10, yeah, yeah. bomb for 10, kill for 10, <laughs> bomb for 10. But then he knows he's got that 10, and, and, he, he, and, he, he, and he builds from there. You never gets heard Louis C.K. steals jokes. You right. never no, heard no, that. Fucking ever. Nope. All right, listen. Uh, Sam Bowes are in front of everybody. Oh, we'll take come a quick on. break. Oh, God. <laughs> Sandy <laughs> Kane is dressed and ready to come in here with the Ugh. the other oh, naked cowgirl. I've got to eat fast then. So we're gonna, coffin? We'll oh, that's what you was talking about. I thought you was insulting me for my story. What, the Sam Bowes thing? I don't know. Is that white people sandwiches? Yes, yeah. sandwiches. That's that's. I'm sorry. Uh, Somebody I learned about white people also. Mm, I'm what? sorry. I what? just learned it. I that's just say new? sambos. You know, I've always said sambos. <clears throat> black people don't like to say AIDS. I don't know if you if you don't know that about black people. We mm. just won't say the word AIDS. It's it's you know man. He might have the monster. High five um, the ninja. Yeah, the ninja, yeah, the ninja yeah. fucking package. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know suicide was so tight with white people that mm. you, you don't call it suicide. You call it checking out. Did not know that. Didn't mm. know suicide was such a That's, thing where it's like white people don't. They, I'm not white saying people suicide. Say suicide. Yeah. They say mm. checking out. Yeah. Checking out. Didn't know that. All Any right. show that puts me on it says suicide because that's what they're committing. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, I am. Cash well, I don't know why chips. you call me a sambo. Just no, I didn't call. It's, I, I, I'm sorry. I've been saying sambos forever. Oh, for it's a sandwich. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I've been bad. saying that forever. I don't know. Well, uh, let me drink a glass of cracker. Can I have some? <laughs> I want some fucking crystal light during oh, the break. <laughs> you're, you're giving up some of that crystal light because my water's a, tasting bad. I call it blue-eyed devil juice. <laughs> <laughs> Patrice O'Neill, Helium Comedy Club. One show Thursday, two shows Friday, two shows Saturday. Saturday down there in Philly, heliumcomedy.com. We got Sandy Kane and the other naked cowgirl. I just want a bite of one of Patrice's green spicks before we go to break. <laughs> Next. I want Sandy Kane in studio first. Really? Why? I want Sandy Kane in studio first just to why? give her a little fucking attention. Then we'll bring in the other naked cowgirl. Sandy's been on a press Sandy junket. Kane, let me tell you something. You know, it, it's all in the biz, folks. All in the biz. Look, look at, look you know, at. Hey, I'm a national figure here. Yeah. <laughs> my my nephew saw me uh, on Fox News in Ve Vegas, and I'm. You have to get sued, folks, to uh, get exposure. Is that what it's all about these days? Yeah. It, uh, hey, I just met Jill. I just oh, yeah. met Jill. Yeah. And she wants to fuck you again. Oh yeah. What'd yeah. she say? She said, "I want to suck his dick again." Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, that's nice I hate to her. get raunchy. I, I really don't want to, but that's, I, that's what we're, she said. We were she's hoping you were like going to get a... raunchy on Channel 11 this morning. Okay, well, like they told me not to. They told me. I said, yeah, can but, I do that? No. But you don't listen to anyone. You should have got naked. I should have. They. Me, you hey, should have gave him the finger. You should have uh, motherfucked they, they, I, you know, it, you know. You got I, young pictures of yourself? There were no cameras then. There were sketches. <laughs> <laughs> she, might have she sketches. has great eyes, though. Like, I'd say. Like, you can see. I'm looking at it to see where it, where it, where it went wrong. No, but no. it's like her, she has great eyes, man. Yeah. Sandy has beautiful big eyes. Thank man. you, baby. Can yeah. I start by saying we support you? Oh, thank what, what, you. What are you Sandy, saying that we, we're not supporting you? Well, You've been on we, our show for years. Hey, we support you Hey, I feel you that way. No, I totally, and, I, I totally feel that way. And, um, and it hurt me when he says, you've been ripping him off for years. We ain't ripping him ah, off. I was a that's, stripper. That's and... Sam just being a dick. Listen to me. And the second thing I want to say is, I, when I broke your last guitar, <laughs> I gave you a lot of money for a new one. And you know, I see you're playing the, the old shitty one right. that I broke. What, well, what happened what was you I went my into... money? She no, I went... it, man. Just... <laughs> <laughs> I flew to Nashville with it. Why did you put her in that corner? I flew to Nashville. Would you have to pay Frankenstein royalties? I flew to Nashville with the money. And, no, I went into Sam Ash to buy a new one, and this guy, this rock and roller came over to me, and he was, um, he just really soured me on buying a new guitar. I had, had one picked out. But you're, so could... I walked out. I didn't buy the guitar. Uh... I complained about this guy. What, what he probably he looked at me and said, this bitch buying a guitar? Like, yeah, come on, yeah. give it up. Yeah. And um, this this failure of a guitar player. So I walked out. I never bought the guitar. And I, I just keep playing it, man, even though a few times it really yeah. hurt. It's out of tune, I got a man. few splinters. Yeah, no, the guitar's no. out of tune. Sam. My guitar yeah. is out of tune. You could have got a yeah, nice new guitar with the money I gave Well, I, what about another 500? Oh. Well, did you get our yeah, message? We, no. like. we wanted you to curse on TV this morning. Yeah. We were going to give you $600. I you never got the message? No. And here's Sandy it. Kane on the red carpet with Clark Gable. Uh, <laughs> That's like when she was young, I bet, right? Uh, Clark Gable. Oh, that clicking sound in the there back. There it is. <laughs> Clark Gable in the fucking house. <laughs> I like Tyrone Power. Are you doing more TV? Tyrone Power. 
Here she is with Tyrone Power I'm, on the I'm red carpet for Square. the premiere of Blood and I wanted, Sand. I wanted, uh, <laughs> thanks, Sam, for yesterday. Just young Sandy Kane yes. looking all Hollywood. She calls Fay Ray a no, bitch. No, I mean... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fay Ray, ah, Fay Ray's a bitch, man. Ah, fuck it. No, the, the other naked cowgirl's a bitch. Oh, oh, oh. see, Hello. and Anthony, that's why. But you gotta, hold on, you hold, on, hold, on. You, you and hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. And that's yeah, why fine. I wanted her in here first because what I learned during the break, when the, these two are together, she's nothing but nice to this uh, other naked cowgirl. That's uh -huh. a hot piece of ass. You, you but just, when you separate them, Sandy K. motherfucks uh, her. Flat chest. Ooh. See? <laughs> we, we, you know, well, she was bad mouthing you in the green. She was saying. That you're old and that you shouldn't be doing this, and it was like that yeah. was why we had her come Actually, in. Why and we were like, we were like, you know something, Sandy's she did cool. She's yeah. been around yeah, for a while. Did. Oh, good. I didn't. You know, she is the she fucking did. phony. She called you a fossil. What else yeah. did she call Sandy? She, she, she said that stuff. she's a ripoff artist, and she's like, right. if I paid. And she said, like, regardless, none of your business how much yep. I paid. She's like, why should this old bag get away with it yeah. for nothing? <laughs> this is close. <laughs> First of all, she is not paying. I'm it's not all... telling you, hey, don't yell at no. me. I'm hey, not yeah, yeah. baby, no. You can yeah. confront her when she comes yeah. out. Because this no, is just Saturday what she night, said about you. I was out on, you know, 46th oh, Street Jesus. and Broadway, oh. where I've been for the last three years. The bitch got she lost. She said you took her, her corner. That was where she was supposed to be. Three no. years she hasn't been there. <laughs> <clears throat> She's, she claimed she had family problems. What about, what about the, disease ridden, Jimmy? Yeah, she said you're disease ridden. She said you're not even a good singer or a good uh, guitarist. He's for, you're for, yeah, yeah, she didn't say this. Uh, uh, you're not a good guitarist yeah. or singer? Well, no, come on. Why, does she not have ears? Come on, Jim. Come on, <laughs> come, come, on, no, you, Jim. come on, Jim. No, I don't believe that she said all that shit. Huh? She said but, most of it. She said a lot of it. Yeah. Oh, she did good. Yeah. Here's yeah. the thing. Because she's she's, she's going to take her pants down. Yeah, no, no, and, and no. I'm such a piece. I'm like, I don't want to look if it's going to be bad. It's not yeah. bad. It's not bad. She actually looks okay. Show, In show fact, Patrice. we're going to uh, put a tattoo on Tuano. All right, just show him. Oh. Okay. Show him. But wait, 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 wait. Wow. wait. I just want to talk about the bitch outside. No, we don't, wait, you do it when she comes in. Well, no, let's see. Yeah, no, we'll, because, no, because Saturday oh night, oh, I go out there with my fucking guitar, and she goes, she goes, hey, she said, I don't think you should be here. I said, hey, bitch, I, you haven't been here for three years. All of a sudden, you're telling me? I said, she, I said to all the people, she's a bitch. And everyone's like, bitch, 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 bitch. And, and then she went, uh, gee, I really love you, Sandy. You're cool to stay all right. here. All right, we're going to have a problem. Let's, we got to get her. Yeah. Yeah. Sandy. Hey, Sandy, are you going to pay that, that well, license fee if they if they? Yeah, if we want to know about yes. this. If they make you pay the license she was, fee. I heard she's making porn in movies in L.A. She claimed she was with her mom. Wow. But if you. If you I if hear they, she was making porn in movies. If they, make you pay, if they make you pay, if you lose and they make you pay license fee, are you going to pay it? No, babe. I'm going You're to gonna jail. Leave? You'll just leave? Well, I, mean, I could change the name to the the nudie cow girl. Uh, oh, okay. I don't know about that. Wait, wait. Well, so, so still have what do you problem. think, guys? You're the smart ones. Uh, uh, well, uh, we think that you should uh, stand up for yourself. July 1st, you're supposed to be out of Times Square. You're not going to be out of there. I think you should cut your hair and do a Hyman Roth tribute. <laughs> Wait, July 1st? <laughs> I'm supposed to be out in Times Square July 1st. Who said that? Didn't they say that? That's the news. <laughs> what fucking news? That you got to cease and desist by July 1st. <laughs> okay, I'll be there. I will tell. <laughs> I'm getting nine in the that. morning to twelve at night. Yeah, you're not. You're not leaving. Hello. What do you? Oh, what, what do you think no, of the naked hey, bird? He's such a fucking. Let me tell you. This is the story with the cowboy. He's forty years old. He's hit forty. He's going through a midlife fucking crisis. Uh, he's hardly ever out. Would you? In Times Square anymore. He's. He used to be there all the time. Would you? What? Would you would, fuck him? Would you? Would I fuck him? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you already are putting that get up on. <laughs> get it? <laughs> we got it. We got oh, it. Jill still badly. loves you, man. Uh, uh, Jill still loves you, man. Really? Yes. Fin finish your naked oh, cowboy have story. How date. did you cheat on that bitch? Huh? She was. She's a gorgeous. I, I, I wanted to fuck somebody else. Yeah, I you know how it good, is, good reason. You know good. how it is, right? No. <laughs> I, she was so beautiful, man. I just loved her, man. If I was a things bad. are. No, I don't, Anthony. I'm surprised you. Get you get used to some pussy and you want some new. You want a new pussy? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you want a new pussy, man. The smell, the smell of a new pussy is... It's, it's just is, everything. Is it the smell? It's just the new pussy. Okay, baby. It was brand new. It was all in my closet. Yeah, I know. She was 19. Smelled better. I don't know. 
It's just the way it is. Yeah, okay. I, I don't understand, though. I, she was a very beautiful woman. Well, you know how to... If I was a guy, you know, or if I was a lesbian. All right, yeah. if you were a person. <laughs> enough with this. Get the shit. I, I wanted that. to do her today. No. Did you finish she her Naked really Cowboys good. story or what? What? So, um... The, the, he's I'm not, he's to be not there, there anymore. Be out there by July 1st. I'm supposed to be out. Why, why am I trying to have her focus on anything? Just, no, no, I'm just saying. All right, I, but you're saying he's 40, he's washed up, he doesn't go there as much as he used to, all that he's crap. He's hardly ever there anymore. And you do know he's using you for all this exposure. He's all over the TV because of you. You should you should uh, demand that he pays you for all the exposure you gave okay, him the last Okay, thanks, uh, Opie. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm being it's serious. It's about time you went with me. You know that you. you I've know. always been with you. You Thanks. you give us great radio, so I'll always be with you. But well, I'm telling you. you, you now go to him and say, "Look, I just gave you exposure for the last 24 hours. I want a little taste." Okay. That's that's your angle. Okay. Because he wouldn't be on TV like he has been the last 24 hours. Sandy's mm -hmm. getting more exposure on the news these days than when she jumped from the Hindenburg. <laughs> 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 Get it? That happened a long time ago. I know, baby. Uh, yeah. Now pull your pants down. Pull your pants down for Patrice, and then we got to bring in the um, naked cow. Yeah, quickly, 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 quickly. Come yeah, on, show come me. On. Hey, Let's come go. on. You, are you going to eat my pussy, bitch? Yeah, my <laughs> pussy. Black guys oh, don't eat black pussy. Black guys don't do that. You know that. They don't. Black guys don't eat the coochie unless yeah. it's fried. <laughs> come on, let's see it. <laughs> now, come on. Hey, gentlemen. Sandy, we got to bring some I think you want to see it, Jim. I do. Yeah, we okay. all want to see it. Now show Patrice. Come on, you want to eat me, let's Patrice, if I show it to you? Yeah. Let's see that, Sandy. Are you come a lesbian? Do you eat out? Come on. Come on. What's wrong, come Patrice? On, Patrice. I think I heard about this. Let's let's see put your tongue where your mouth is. Let's see that shit. Put your tongue where your mouth is. Sandy, show him. Come on. Come on, Sandy. What is the problem? What do you want to see? Patrice has never seen Twato. No, man. I'm all over the news, man. Show him. Show him. You're all over the news. It ain't bad. Yeah. It's yeah. up here. Hey, let's... look. Show him. Pull it down, baby. Well, you want to uh, pull pussy hair? Sandy, pull it down. Pull it down a little more. Real quick. A little more. A little more. A little more. Go ahead, quickly. You're See, losing our support. Come on. God, God damn it. it. Just pull your fucking pants down. A little more. A little more. Go ahead. Yeah, it's getting a little Sandy. Go a little more. Go, 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 go. Further, further. Can you imagine this is what happened in slavery? I would have had to eat that. Did you see it? Get out of here, nigga, and eat this fucking mess. <laughs> but I just don't want to. <laughs> I just don't want to. This is why niggas don't eat pussy. It's, it's from slavery. It's Sandy Kane. <laughs> I just don't so want to. Don't niggas want to. Don't eat you pussy, just explained okay. it perfectly. I, I'm, How come I'm all niggas for don't the plight pussy? of the black man now. Yeah, this is exactly why. How come why. niggas don't eat pussy? Because of, cause no, of that. Not. Will you pull uh, your pants down? Slavery? Oh, my God. She no, I don't know. She she doesn't know. You're not showing him. What are you doing? Show, it's just good. Show. No. Just, can we do this next thing, please? <laughs> yeah, <I'm pretty> like, <laughs> bring in the young girl. one, man. All right. Let's bring in the naked cowgirl. I want to see hers if she yeah. do it. Yeah. She won't. Here comes the naked cowgirl, though, which makes this whole story even more confusing because Santa Kane is the naked and cowgirl, but there's already a naked alone. cowgirl. He's dumping me for the new naked cowgirl. Hi, naked cowgirl. There's the Hello. naked cowgirl. Sandy has no. hair plugs in her pussy. <laughs> oh, shit. Why do you guys have the same hat? Exactly. How did that happen? Well, I, got this, I got this hat first. Ooh. I was the original naked cowgirl, just to say that. Sam, okay. get the fuck out, out of the way. Wait, so you're paying the Naked Cowboy the franchising fee? You know what? I'm not allowed to discuss, but we do have. Well, you an obviously agreement. are if he's not suing you. Yeah, he got an agreement. We yeah. got an agreement. Sandy out. seems to think you have an agreement, though, that is based on something other than money. That's right. <laughs> Sandy, why don't you. No, 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 there's no sex. No, there's no sex. No, what did you say? What did you say? I, no, I did hear that she gave him a blowjob in the garage. Yeah, and, the, and where she heard that from is a. Uh, like a lunatic in Times Square. So a lunatic. Who's in Times this Square? lunatic in Times Square? Victor. Yeah. Sandy. Yeah. Sandy. Victor. He comes to Times Square every day. Who the day. fuck is Victor? He she dresses Times Square every day with a leather jacket on, with pins all over. He's oh. got like a mafia hat, and he just goes around and and. Sandy know. dresses like He's Snidely like... Whiplash and runs around. <laughs> Give it Snidely Whiplash. Just... No, I went topless for the first time, and Sam, I want to show you because Sam helped me because she's topless. Can we, oh, we see both of you topless at least? I think that's fair. Because yeah, I don't yeah, so, that's I, fair. No, really, Let's and the compare. cops were really cool with it, and I think that's one of the reasons the Cowboys <laughs> mad because the cops yeah. love pussy, yeah. pussy and and Tuato, yeah, yeah. and, and and they don't, you know, they don't, you know, he's like lost his touch. Wait, what are you saying, naked cowgirl? There's a difference. What were you saying? Look. Oh, I was just saying there's a little. 
little bit of a difference between our boobs. Oh, <laughs> Sandy looks oh, like Sandy, Sandy looks like you if you were on Jupiter and and on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so Sandy what Kane, saying? what are you saying? You know, you hear what she's no, saying? No, what I'm saying is she's saying you're a little Cowboy has, First of all, he hasn't changed his outfit in 13 years, and neither have you. Oh. Oh. Actually, I've gone through like oh. a lot of different outfits. I finally got to this, and I feel like okay, I perfected good. the outfit. I used to wear like little mini stripper skirts and all okay. kinds of. I had the leather skirt made and all this stuff, but I finally decided that this was perfect. It, it is very sexy. Good. It yeah. is. It yeah. is. Because like people it's come to Times Square and they're from all over the world and they want to take a picture of Times Square and they want a cowgirl and all American. Right. Yeah. yeah. And they get yeah. that with Sandy Kane. Oh, right, Sandy. <laughs> 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 they get a, a cowgirl and Times Transylvania. Square. Very body, <laughs> body blue uh -huh. Times Square. You know, and, and going topless. Yes, I want to thank Lou. Louisa, for helping me do that because uh, I really wanted to do that from the very first, but I didn't have to. There were strollers. I didn't have to do it. Wait, 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 but, you know, seeing now, her... Now, a hot, naked cowgirl. That's how I'm just going <laughs> to yeah. distinguish. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Have people come up to you and said, why is the naked cowboy suing you? Are they confused? Yeah, yeah. I've had a couple of people come up and, and say that. Well, Governor Patterson? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jesus <Aww>. Christ. <laughs> no, a couple of people have thought you're the one that he's suing, and you have to yeah. kind of make it clear and just and go, I'm no, like, no. No, I'm franchised. I'm legitimate. I'm yeah, good. how much are you paying? I can't talk about it. How come in in the newspaper, they, they lay there $150,000, 5000 a year? How come they're laying everything out, and she can she has a confidentiality, which I, I, I don't think she's paying anything. Well, oh, maybe, but you know something, Sandy? Eh. I don't think so. That's um, between her and the boss. If he yeah, wants yeah. to yeah. waive his fee, he's allowed to do that legally. Uh huh. So I <laughs> mean, no, no, me, he's going after. She is the, the original naked cowgirl. How come he didn't get her years ago? How come he waited three years to get me? And she came back last week, and all of a sudden, I'm getting sued. Ooh. So maybe it's dumping one cowgirl for the other. I think oh. it's just, oh, you know, yeah. it's like getting oh, no. divorcing me Do you have for a her. Bruise on the side of your tit. No, no, on the side, like right what happened? there. What's is that, that a bruise? No, not that. Up top, just right that right there. Is that a bruise? I don't know. I, it's a, it's a hickey. A hickey. Oh, it's <laughs> not. Right. It's a hickey, where, man. Where do you go during the the winter? You're not up here. In Portland, Oregon. Oh, in Oregon. Okay. Yeah. Do I'm actually in school right now. Really? Do you, do you so do you, I'm back to make some money. So this is what you do? Do you, do you play when you're out in Portland or no? No, I don't. Okay. Yeah. They have very perky breasts. Yeah, they, they really are. I mean, yeah, relatively like, speaking. Well, relatively oh, speaking. Oh, anything. Oh, what? Yeah. what? Yeah. But those, mine are double those, D's, those are baby. Real? I'm not yeah. sure. Yeah. Those and are real. And I can do that. Right? Wow. Wow. Oh, the Sandy's tits are like, uh, like a tree's rings. Could you hold them up to where they were when Kennedy was assassinated? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you they go. They were always pretty low. Can I be honest, yeah. though? I'm going to be honest. If, the, if, if Sandy's tits was on a young girl, no 20. fucking way! I, if, no. If, uh, uh, t if she was twenty and that those messy tits, I, I uh, I'm a fan of messy tits for some reason. Wow. <laughs> like they Sandy's just a, she's just too old, but it's just like. Let me tell you, made a lot of know, money know, yesterday. He saw it, right? Yeah. He was saying, "No, I make a lot of money." Yeah, those I mean, just look natural, you know, perky. Yeah, they look natural, breasts. but some girls are smart. She's yeah, like, nice. She looks yeah. like a nice corn-fed. American girl there. Now that I, now that I like, I was wondering if they were because they they are quite perfect. Yeah, yeah. They sit. They're just standing up. There's yeah, no yeah. hang at all. <laughs> nice. Right. They're nice. Like you a dick. Oh. Yeah. Well, Fair enough. Mean, you know what? Black you, cop, baby. you know what? We <laughs> we just owe Sandy Kane insults. It's just <laughs> we owe her insults. You know what I mean? Now, just, do she, you have a big dick? Them. Like they say, black guys have big dicks. No, no, I don't have the dick that I should have. Okay, all right. Hey, at least he's honest. That was not given that. Was not given that. He's, not, he's, he's honest. Now, anyway. Sandy, were you dressed like that yesterday in Times yes, Square? Yes, thank and, you, Sam. So, okay, I, wait, hold on. And i got to ask the hot naked uh, cowgirl. We saw a picture of you on the Internet where the cops were pulling, taking you away. Was yeah. that because you had the pasties on? No, I used to get arrested my second year there for impeding pedestrian traffic. And oh, fuck. I lived like right down the street and I'd say, let me just go home. And they're like, well, once we have you in handcuffs, you have to go to jail. And one time I was like, uh, someone, the cop came up to me and they're like, you can't be here. You got to go. And I said, well, I want to talk to your superior officer. So he comes up to me and I swear to God, in one second, he had me whipped around in handcuffs. How it long? was impressive. Why? Now, wow. how long would you stay in jail for? 
Uh, the first time I spent the night, and the second two times I just was there for a couple hours. For what though? It just yeah, that's what we're asking. Pedestrian traffic, and they dropped what, what, the charges. Hold the on, hold on. But what does that traffic. mean? Like, they that always means, like, do I'm things like blocking traffic. Causing, causing, causing traffic, traffic jams, yeah, basically. They make yeah. things up. Yeah. They unlike, make things up. Unlike Bloomberg, Cop. who blocked the whole goddamn yeah, road. He did it on That's no. impeding traffic. Yeah. Do you wear little thongs under that? Yeah. Oh, can I see? Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh. Do you want to lose the skirt or what? Can I see your hiney, please? Yeah, a little turnaround Just there. A little lower. Okay. Uh, yeah. Wow. It's yeah. yeah. nice. Yeah. Yeah. Sandy? Yeah. Yeah. Would you oh, like come to on. show your sagging oh, yeah. ass to okay. everybody? Yeah. So uh, my, my hemorrhoid. Uh, uh, my hemorrhoid was uh, bleeding. The my head was bleeding. Was bleeding. <laughs> it was. <laughs> <laughs> my hemorrhoid, my hemorrhoid oh, yeah. was bleeding in, in, in Nashville, so I, I came home. Oh, was it? And it stopped. In Nashville? Yeah, I was just in Nashville. Is that a my, song, My Hemorrhoid Was Bleeding yeah. in Nashville? <laughs> it really Look was. Look over the red. But, um... Bam, bam, bam. What Thank is you that? Where's your belt set? This is from Hollywood yeah. Boulevard. What is it? What's so the I belt did this holding myself. up? <laughs> we couldn't tell. Yeah. Oh. oh. Yeah. Ah. But, um, but anyway, my hemorrhoid was bleeding in Nashville. <laughs> Good title. Okay. Um, and uh, it was scary, but I came back to New York, and, and right away it, it healed. So I'm oh, not going good. back. That I'm not New York air that does yeah, it, I, I don't guess. know what it was. Yeah. Um, That's great. But, um, oh, Sandy's so old, man. <laughs> <laughs> I got oh, Sandy. I make more is... money than you. Oh, oh I damn. bet I do. I, I bet I do, baby. I'm not sexy naked let's, like let's, you. Then you should pay it. that $5,000. Patrice, the one thing she doesn't like is being no, I won't. Old. What do you think, Anthony? Should I pay oh, it? Nah. nah, why not? Don't pay because you can't do anything if you don't. Other than the fact that Sandy's old, jail. Just... you're just going to oh, go out there. And now July 1st is the date that you're supposed to never be able I to never, go out there I again. didn't read that in the cease and desist ah, letter. I heard on interviews and stuff. July 1st. So if you go out after July 1st, you're <laughs> in uh, uh, whatever it is, in violation <laughs> Of the cease and desist. Yeah. You should have didn't say cease those tits. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they said cease and decompose. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I didn't read that. Cease, didn't. cease that sis. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, she should have ceased to exist. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> We support you, though, Sandy. We support you. Sandy needs to exist. I'm for it, nor does it. Cease to exist. The Anthony Show believes that I am in the right. Yes. No one can tell anyone where the... The cowboy thinks he owns Times Square. Ooh. Yeah. Nobody owns fucking Times Square. Ooh. God no. owns it and the cops. And as I said that on WPIX... Yeah, we heard. The cops can tell me. Line. And like, the line. cops took her to jail. They rule. And I was out there topless yesterday. It was the six cops... They liked it. You think, let's see if we can they, clean they up the spill the with Sandy. They like the and titties. <laughs> <laughs> they like the asshole and the hemorrhoids. Sandy looks like a shamwow. I, I wanna, they like the fucking let me see. titties, baby. <laughs> and, and, let's, see if we can, let's see if we can soak up a spill. And, and you know what? <laughs> I call it Titty City. This is Titty fucking City. Right man. on, Sandy. Who's well, Titty? There's a New York fucking City. Titty Wait, City. How about now? Can they both sing? Yeah, really they both well? got their guitars. Oh, yeah, 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 I, I was like, singing today on WPAX. Uh, did you hear it? Yes, yeah, we did. Yeah, 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 hold on, hold on. Why don't we have the, the hot naked cowgirl do a, like, a, you yeah, know, a quick little thing? And then Sandy so came, and then the we'll see what you could do. Oh, she's bending over to get her guitar out. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Where do you she stand? She looks very. Stand she looks very. Um, Forty six and broad. And that's where I she's stand. She's porn. You guys stand right next to each other. Well, no. Sometimes, sometimes we like she roll gets, a girl like a. Like, but you know what I yeah, realized? I, like that. Like a hot I was mess. in Times Square yeah, working yeah, Saturday yeah. night, and I was exactly. like, you know, Sandy was on my island, and I was like, Sandy, I don't know if we should be on my this island. island. Oh, oh shit! Sorry, that's I should what I'm say saying. the island I work on. The island I work on. Okay. Um, and then and then I was like, well, I don't know if we should both be on the same island, but what I realized is like. Actually, I still had the, <laughs> the same amount of customers. Like there. everybody still wanted a picture with me. Yes. Like, oh. 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 No, she got customers. Like she got customers, but I'm just saying they. I didn't. It didn't decrease my clientele. Right. So and you having... have no right to even say it in the first place. Oh shit. Oh yeah. Oh shit. That's right. We support you, Sam. I mean, first of all, yeah. Thank you, baby. 
She's been gone three years. She comes back. She's there two days. To get, and everyone said that about you, too. The lion. Why don't you go to your you, own island, you, Dr. You, Moreau's? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, even the lion. Plum even the island lion research the center. Lion, they said, hey, that cowboy bitch is, is throwing us all at, off the island. You know what they look there. like together? Yeah, a hot comedy club. They look, like, threw off. they look like the two different Draculas. <laughs> <laughs> the, hey, did you lose hey, weight, Patrice? The, the young Dracula <laughs> and then the one that Ed Wood put in his movie. <laughs> Eddie, let's shoot this fucker. No, she looks like Dracula at midnight, and she looks like Dracula at 6.30 a.m. <laughs> when the curtains won't close for her. <laughs> they do the Zumba scene. Oh, yeah. All right, make a cowgirl's ready to perform song, for us. Babe. Leah, let's hear, let's hear, come on. Yeah. What's your name? And you only came back to Times Square a couple days ago? Yeah, actually, um, my dad died, so I had to go back to Portland. Oh, sorry oh, to hear that. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. That's what I heard. That's not cool, man. Yeah, I'm yeah. a bad source in Times Square. Excuse me. But two scared. years, she your dad dies. You're, you're, you're yeah, you know what? I had to be with my family. And you know what? I actually started going to school and I'm bettering myself because I don't want to end up like this. Oh! oh. Oh. So she's going to be a social worker. I'd much rather yeah. be on the Opie and Anthony show regularly that you and have my own television show than be a fucking social worker. Yeah. Tell a fuck I fuck doubt, her, Sandy. I doubt she's going to be a her. fucking social ask worker. Her, ask her if she can change Don't horseshoes. <laughs> was you a blacksmith when you were 16, yeah. bitch? Huh? Hey, there's a lot of cops on, on horses. Yeah. <laughs> the cop on horse, uh, he discovered the bomb. And I was She's there when the brilliant. bomb was. And I, I almost got bombed hey, because uh, I walked by there just at that time. Hey, and I saw that van. So I right, was there. Right. You yeah. weren't. You, got, you got a fan about. on the you, line because everyone's seen your picture now on TV. Joe yeah. in Jersey. Joe, go ahead. Good real fucking fast. Jersey in a fucking house. Joe. Yeah, the first she, time I saw Sandy and she looks like Bernie Madoff in drag. Oh, <laughs> Bernie, oh. Bernie Madoff. Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> she just snapped her cowboy hat off with her fucking with her with her headphones. What part of Jersey are you from? Oh, he's gone. He's gone. he's gone. He's gone. Uh, he's gone. Hey, how good could Jersey people be with a zip code that begins with zero? Sandy just kind of. The headphones snapped. She was trying to put them yeah. on and punched her right in the yeah, face. Yeah, meanwhile, the guy is such a wimp, he didn't even say on the fucking phone. No, nah, I got oh, rid of him, Sam. Huh? It's all about you. I got rid of him right away. Oh, uh, nice. Right. <clears throat> Thank you. All right, uh, hot naked cowgirls ready to perform. Yes. Yeah. And then, Sandy, it'll can, like, be your... Hear the guitar at all. We can. Yeah, I can hear it. Oh, yeah, we can. Who knows how long I've loved you. You know I love you still. All sweet and everything. Hey. She's naked. Why don't you just go? <laughs> <laughs> like, we would know the difference. <laughs> oh, Sandy's joining in. Great. Love me whenever It's not easy to do what you did. Being joined by Robert Planter, six feet under. <laughs> <laughs> Joan Baez in a fucking house. He... Oh, yeah. I hear the Joan Baez. Oh, Robert Planter. <laughs> That's funny. She does look like Robert Planter a little bit. Yeah. She owes money to Frankenstein. Yeah. This little fucking <laughs> stairway to basement. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me to mausoleum. Mm, nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's got talent, baby. Yeah, she's very good. You know what I'm doing? I never uh, heard of Oh, I love it. Oh, you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. College education. Ooh. Oh, wow. Well. Wow, there you go. Uh oh. Wow. Look at that. Uh -huh. Got a great little body on her. Yeah, a little flash. Can you see the whole package, please? Anthony, can you see the package? What about me, man? Can you see the whole package? I didn't play yet. Wait. Wait. All right. hey, I wanted it, you know. Yeah. All right, well, she's getting a lot of money for her performance. We'll see what happens when you perform Sandy King. You know, Sam, you wanted to play, you taught me how to love. I just want to tell you, I met one of Jim Norton's um, fans in Times Square. Thank you. Um, and um, he had your book, and he said, I just came from Caroline's. And he said, oh, remember? He said, I heard he taught me how to love on it. And he said, I loved it. So um, I just, and he gave me a $20 tip. Wow. 
Wow. Wow, I know. Um, <laughs> um, and um, I, I re-recorded it, and that is, the, the, you know, the Naked Cowboy, I wanted to put him on it, and that was how this, the, the whole thing started. So I gave you um, the copy of the Naked Cowboy. I got it right But he here. said he's not on any song that you've ever no, done. No, but I said, why don't we do it? Because um, people have said, why don't you do a collaboration? Who so says I, that? A lot. A lot Who? of a lot of people say, "Hey, Who? why don't you the Who? naked cowboys?" Who says that? Who? Who says that? Fans. fans. What fans? Fans. Who? What do they say? Collaboration? Yeah. Why don't you and the naked cowboy collaborate? Well, the, the whole no thing is, I did the song. No one <laughs> says that. Say that. <laughs> I just want to make many, no, clear. Many, many that people. No one said that. Who are these many, many people? people? Many, oh. many of oh. the voices in your head. Exactly. No, no. Let's be honest. No. No. Who are these people? Anyway. Oh, Why don't y'all do a mommy dearest scene right now? <laughs> I, I, I want to see you beat her with a wire hanger. <laughs> Number one wire hanger is ever I, 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 I hey, this song. came. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy in Nashville put on a male voice. And I said, gee, it sounds just like the Naked Cowboy. Uh -huh. So I said, Robert, why don't you put your voice on and we can mark, possibly market awful, the song. So he said, let's hear it. So his, I sent his, his manager a copy. See and I gave him a copy, room. and Robert loved it, and I he started time. singing it. Okay. Robert loved it, man. At Caroline's, he was singing it. He told me he had a love scene. Yeah, and anyway, um, and he wanted to put, he said, listen, and when I was in Nashville, they called me up. They said, why don't you, you know, we'll put the voice on for $5,000. Sandy, $5, could you sew your jaw back on? I, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't understand your, what no. you're saying. So no. re, re glue so, your jaw, so, so, yeah. so he can know what's happening. I don't know what's um, happening. So I don't what's either. going Listen, on? I, so, hey, she's trying to tell the story. Yeah, but. I am trying to st tell the story. Don't well, be cruel. You look like something fuck Indy you finds fat in a cave. Fuck you. <laughs> look at that fat fuck. Oh, what do you eat, oh, man? Oh, Patrice. Who do you eat? Sandy, you, you, deserve, you deserve that. I did. I was. I was cruel. Go okay. ahead. I'm sorry. No, but when anyway. So the story. You know, you were talking about Robert Burke, the Naked Cowboy suing Sandy Kane. It all started, I said, why don't you put your, vo you know, your voice on the thing and we could possibly get a deal with Capitol Records. So, the, um, she's got to deal with Capitol Punishment. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that is the song. Let's hear it. <laughs> now, Sandy Kane, she performed she's now with a capital U. <laughs> now, I wanted to hear the song with, with We're, we're going to finish the segment. I mean, with, hold um, on, hold on, hold on. We're going to finish the segment with that, but we had the hot naked cowgirl perform live. Now we, hear now we need live. you to perform live. Yeah. Yes. Just so we can have How a comparison. How is she going to perform live with carpet tunnel syndrome? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to watch her wrist fall down on the ground. <laughs> Okay, what should I do? Uh, yeah, oh, it's up to you. The guitar a hole in it. <laughs> Look at the guitars are very similar, I see. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we can barely tell you two apart. <laughs> right. It's just, yeah. are, they, are they both tailors? <laughs> The okay. similarities wow. are just amazing. Yeah. How do I follow too. her? She looks like, Sandy Kane looks like a, a cute naked cowgirl in a Can somebody help her with a guitar? <laughs> <laughs> Can somebody help her with a guitar? She's strangling herself oh, with her own guitar. Oh, what are you Jesus doing? Fuck. She's worried about a wig falling off. No, but I'll tell you something. Is that a wig? The, the, Is that a wig? <laughs> it's blonde. I She's 80. <laughs> That looks nice to me, Sandy. I thought it was real. Uh, what was I going to say? Um, Hold the mic microphone, Sandy. Man, microphone. Yeah, get in front of the mic. You're a performer. <laughs> you know, now, are you going to play that guitar with your left titty? <laughs> <laughs> I know, look at him. <laughs> the guitar oh. sounds okay, very similar. This is a song. Uh, I did this on WPAX, and this is the song that was um, produced years ago by the guy that put, pl uh, Push It. He has ne Next Plateau Records, Eddie O'Loughlin. He still has a label. What is this? The fucking and Emmys? I, it's, it's very terrible. different on the, the, um, sure. on the record. It's very different. <laughs> I'm sure, yeah. Who tuned... Who tuned that? A bus? Since I got back <laughs> from Miami, things just ain't been the same. She went to Miami with John Voight. <laughs> Since I Cowboy. met that man named Bobby, <laughs> I know how to play the game. He taught me how to love. He showed me what to do. How does it feel? He taught me how to love underneath the sky above, and now I'm loving you. Since I got back from the Opie and Anthony oh, show, here we go. She's riffing, she's riffing. things just ain't been the same. Since I blew Patrice's dick. 
Did I want to spit it note? out in Channel the same cause. <laughs> it's chocolate, though. He taught ah. me how to love. He showed me how to screw up. Screw what? He taught me how to love underneath the roof above. And now I'm loving. And now I'm fucking. And now I'm sucking. <laughs> You let's exchange oh. blood tests. Oh, not a line. I got that line. And Jill loves Anthony. Now, how about oh. that, huh? So, what do you sing that in front of where Virgin Records used to be? Oh. No, I don't. I sometimes I'm there. Used to be, yeah. yeah. Sometimes I'm there. I'm. So, is the, you do that, and they, you do that song? Sometimes, maybe. Hey, why? She should sing that in a building that's being demolished. <laughs> 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 then I do. I love Dick. I will oh, say that the, in all honesty, the young cowgirl. Is more talented than the other two because oh, the, the, the yeah. naked cow guy is not talented. His no, talent, he just kind of. Yeah, he's all right. Oh, no. Thank you very much. You but he doesn't. Sing. He does what, she, what Sandy does. He just. Yeah, well, let's yeah. hear the recording. He just does, does well, the let's not. Uh, oh come on! Oh, what, happened, what happened to all the money? Like the naked cow girl got a lot of money when, when she performed. And... Come, okay, come on. Yeah, wow, play look the song. At that. Oh, no one's messing up with any. Somebody give Sandy twenty dollars, man. Why? Why does Sandy have forty dollars? But the oh, other girl got song. money. On, Why man. doesn't Sandy Kane have it's any the money? Depreciation of the dollar. Oh, you're gonna play it? <laughs> exactly. You give, her, you give her a nickel, and that's how much it's worth. <laughs> yeah, it's worth yeah, fifty dollars from. <laughs> yeah, I give, her a give her a buffalo head nickel. Hey, oh, <laughs> if, you're, if, you're, if you're on my side, play this. Yeah, song. we're going to at the okay. end of the segment. No, we I relax. We're still having fun with you, man. Please, come on. We're still having a little fun with you. I want to hear it. All right, we're gonna we're gonna play it. What happens to fucking? I mean, because no, it, hold on, because I want to ask you some more stuff. But Patrice doesn't looking, know all the rape yeah. stories. Yeah. Just look at Play like thirty you're seconds as a of it. drum over the there, thing. and that is right. just a fucking broken sale. Richard sale. Pryor raped you. Oh, come on, play it, man. Patrice is asking you questions. We come will on, get I to want, it. I want you to hear. Ooh. That's how it sounds on the guitar, but then in the right, recording sing, studio. Sing the verse where you got raped by fucking Phil Spector. Yeah. I got raped by Phil Spector in Hollywood. He said, Sandy Kane, I want to eat your pussy. Oh, I said, Phil, I don't want you to eat me. He said, I'm putting a gun to your head, bitch. You better do it. <laughs> I said, Phil, be my This is a court baby. transcript, by the way. This is be the my, exact court be transcript. Be my baby. Be my baby. I'll be your lady. Don't kill me, Phil. I got a lot of living to do. Yeah, a little too much. And can I have 20 bucks for a blowjob? He said, sure. Oh, he paid you 20 wow. bucks. Is 20 that bucks. all? Job? And so you repaid him by letting you live by becoming this? Yeah. By testifying against him. Ha <laughs> ha. But now you're... Ha <laughs> ha like, uh, ha. she did. When you get a second chance at life, yeah. you just... You it's just like, explode. It's like the uh, end was, of Saving Private Ryan when he asked if I was a good you, man. I was almost murdered was I a, a few good times. Man? Was I worth all those men dying for? And look I at Sandy. It. I had an echo. Yeah, hey, was I a good woman? Am I doing all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, let me yeah, tell man. you. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> how about the prior rape? What's going Hold on. on. She said that she was almost murdered a few times. Oh, yeah. Richard uh, oh, Pryor yeah. raped me. He. <laughs> no, this is a true story. Was, Richard well, Pryor. Was it, we, we was have to, we was have it to funny? Yeah. Uh, sorry. I just want to make sure people know we don't know if this is a true story. Oh, She's right. saying it. It's a fucking true story. <laughs> All right, Richard Pryor said, hey, bitch, you want, you want to snort cocaine with um, Miles Davis? So I said, yeah. <laughs> so uh, we went in a stretch limo. Miles Davis, this is 10 miles of bad road. <laughs> <laughs> Miles Davis, baby. I said, yeah, I want to meet Miles, and I want to store cocaine. So we pulled up to his Fleabag Hotel on 49th Street, and I said, Miles lives here? So anyway, we go up in a sleazy elevator. Miles Davis lives here? But I'm just thinking. Me and Richard Pryor, he takes a key, opens the door. I said, where's Miles, baby? Where's the, where's the cocaine? He says, there ain't no Miles there Ain't no cocaine. I want to eat your pussy. Wow. Yeah. So uh, then he got me on the bed, and um, he did. Uh, and and then. Uh, yeah, did he have yeah. a big dick prior? Yeah. Good. Did yeah. he put it in your were shitter? Were you willing at that point, or oh. were you? No, nah, hey, it was like he was on top of me, and it was a uh, kind of a rape. <laughs> <laughs> and then when I left, you know what he said? So why do you report it to Bill Cosby afterwards? So that <laughs> you know what he said after? Leave the pussy, bitch. When I left. What that well, that mean? sounds like prior. Leave the pussy, bitch. <laughs> what does that uh, mean? That's good. That leave a, the pussy, a, bitch. That was a good prior. Yeah, that's yeah, a good prior leave, joke right leave there. Leave the fucking leave pussy, the, bitch. Leave the fucking pussy, bitch. No, I said, Richard, you're a real dick. 
You still call him Richard? Uh, yeah, yeah. I called him Richard, you real <laughs> dick. So, um, Even after he raped you? Know, you you're a great rape God victim. Damn, like, a yeah. much better I word many, after he many, raped many, you. Many, and then the, the, rape, the trucker that raped you, and the then trucker. you went to breakfast with him? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. True story. What could you do? Um, call the cops. <laughs> know, call the cops. Go to the hospital. The yeah. I love how options. back in the day, though, a story could be that. Like, of course. Like, yeah. women yeah. just... What Took it on the chin. Uh, yes, <laughs> she was raped. What is that? Like, that that's it. Yeah. A lot yeah, of women still take it on the chin. lit up a lucky strike, and I <laughs> continued down Route 66. <laughs> no, I hitchhiked back. I hitchhiked back to New York. I was in Ohio, and I, I hitchhiked back. But did you take a rate at every mile marker as you hitchhiked? <laughs> I bet. No, but let me tell you that there. Um, I was interviewed on TV on I forgot what channel four or something with Beth the Dumont Spectre. Network. And when a man puts his <laughs> penis in your pussy, there's a certain connection, and there is a, a a feeling there. There is a definite like even during rape. Yes, there is a feeling. What Even, kind of feeling? Like good? There's a, yeah, there's a, a you connection. You can still love? Is that, this is, it's not this a is love. fucking important scientific y yes, fucking... Yes. It's not a love, and there's a word for it. It's not a love, but it is feelings of, of you know, that a man just put his sperm in your twat. You know, but it, and but there it's is an a act feeling. of violence. It is an act, but... And a lot of... Hey, the, the violence is... Um, who? What's the matter, Sandy? Are you getting say a little it. choked up? She's thinking about one of Pryor's great bits. The violence what? Wait, wait, say go it. ahead, go ahead, say it, man. Go ahead. You could say it. Come on, be strong. Yeah, I know, be strong. Be strong. No, uh, rapes are very sad, though. You know, yeah? They come what do you say about the violence? No, but the, um, it's just a lot of times you just, you know, a lot of women that do get killed. They they don't go they don't go with the rapists but you have to man and I you know I really think it's me I have survived a, a lot of rapes because I you no know, I I always like got out of it with a joke I started singing up uh, be my baby to Phil Spector and you know you just kind of like you love the guy because he has your life in his hands and and a lot of times you have to blame your fucking self for getting into a car getting wow. into a truck going with Richard Pryor to snort cocaine you got some guilt lady. No, I'm proud of you. I think you're a really strong woman to, like, overcome and still... Yes, yeah, whatever you, go, you say, girl. hot and naked cowgirl. You know, get out there and do your thing. So I'm, I admire you and your strength. How, how old are you, young cowgirl? I'm 27. And, mm -hmm. and how, how old was you when Can you, you keep it secret? Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 I won't tell nobody. <laughs> That's Wait. mine. Say it, so continue, you, continue. No, so no, you were, just continue. That, you know, you feel guilty rapes. about that stuff, like you should have done something differently? No, it's like at that moment, don't blame him. Don't start fighting him. They, they, hey, I, I did this. I'm with him. I'm with you, man. You want to fuck me? I'll fuck you. If that's what you want, if that's what you need right now, I'll do it. Just, you know, don't, don't kill me. But afterwards, how do you feel? Uh... Um, the, the guy, the Ecuadorian that had his hands around my neck, I, I was coming home from Jersey, uh, from a go-go job, and he, fucky, fucky, I go, no, no, he's, and then he put his hands around my neck, and I said, okay, so you, I'm your friend, I am your friend, hey, Ecuadorian, um, I am your friend, uh, you know, and what do you want? So he hopped on me, very, how come all rapists have little dicks? Um, <laughs> And he hopped on me, and you then... You said Richard Pryor was packing, though. Yeah, Richard Pryor was packing. The only black guy, okay. Oh, so the rest uh, okay, of the guy. black guy. Um, <clears throat> and, and, you know, the, the and then he says, after the rape, he says, get out. And I was really glad he didn't steal my money. Because I never got robbed from a rapist. They just wanted the pussy. No, that's, that's the Ecuadorian. Sweet. So you've you kind of yeah. you've kind of fucked all the rapists, like because you was fearing for your life, but you gave them a good fuck, or you laid there like a no. Rape rapists victim? just aren't too good in, in sex. You know, they just in and out. But you feel like there was vi a threat of violence. Oh yeah, the guy with the I, then I was raped by this gangster, and his name was Sally Burns. Nah. Yeah, Sally nah. Burns and curtains for you unless you fuck me. See, yeah. curtains. <laughs> nah. Exactly. Mm. And um, he got Would Rocky top... hide in this pussy. <laughs> and I had a girlfriend in the in the room. Would I put watched. my penis in here if Rocky was it's in terrible. this pussy? Twenty four years old I was, and he, he was um, Sally Burns. And they finally um, a year later they so found him in a trunk. She's going back to Portland. Look at this. Yeah. One. 
This, <laughs> this, this girl's yeah, got a lot of balls. This is an education. Yeah, yeah, you're you're scaring her right balls. back. She's going right back to Florida. You better a rape and come into But the Sally Burns, they found him. This is if a gangster's listening. Don't kill me. They found him dead in a trunk with his penis stuffed in his mouth in, ah, Bro in Brooklyn. Why do you think he raped the wrong woman or a sex? He raped somebody's sister. Oh, really? Mm. Yeah. Probably, uh, you know. Yeah, probably. They, they found him dead in a trunk with his penis stuffed in his mouth. How do you he feel had a when big you... dick. <laughs> <laughs> a little dick, a little thumb in his mouth. When you, when you think about those rapes, how do you feel when you go back over them in your head? Um, how do I th feel about it? Um, I, I, a lot of times I go, I'm lucky I'm alive. You know, it's only with God. You know, it's like, I am lucky at all the shit I did and all the, the, the drugs I did and all the fuck, fucking men I've been with and, and trusted. I'm lucky I'm alive. That's have, you ever, have you ever had consensual sex? <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah? Uh, uh, it's, been, it's been a while. <laughs> Yeah, but no. Yes, I have. You definitely. Have, yeah. definitely. <laughs> do you feel bad that you put like? Do you think like, wow, I really mistreated myself. I put myself in bad because you're saying that you feel like you put yourself in bad places. You blame yourself. Um, do I blame myself? Uh, uh, well, I kind of blame myself for the for the. I could have married the richest kid in New Jersey and been a multimillionaire. I, that I look back and go, what the fuck did you marry that guy? He was a you know. But um, I, I, do I? He, I'm just lucky I'm alive because a lot of times you do drugs and, and you just don't have the right. And I enjoy drugs. Got me? <laughs> no. <laughs> I used to do drugs in the 80s. Now I do them in any temperature. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Holy shit. You still do drugs? Did Pryor tell you that one with his dick in your ass? I was getting ready to rape after oh. that joke. <laughs> right. Hold on. Not, not I smoke pot. I smoke pot. Right, Formaldehyde. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do crack. Heroin. That's it. No, what do you really yeah. do? I like to smoke pot. Oh, right. pot That's, action? It's yeah. not that bad. Nah. So do you, get, do, you, yeah. do you get anybody uh, you know, trying to grope you or assault you uh, these days? Yesterday I was robbed in time. Remember I spoke? I you were robbed? To, yeah, I was what robbed. What happened? This junkie came over. Remember I was talking to you? Yeah. And I leave my purse out. Like you always say, this junkie was, she, he was taking all my fucking money out. You know? He's like, oh, What'd you do? Oh. And get on mic there, Sandy. Yeah. And he just like was taking all my fucking money out and putting it in his pocket, and and I said I ran over. I said, "Hey, that's my fucking stuff," you know. And he he said he kept taking it out. So one of the Lion Kings came over, and he said, "Hey, man, you better give the bitch back her money." One of the what? The lion. They have Lion Kings. Oh, the King Tut. They're they're oh. hustling King Tut. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's King Tut. Oh. oh wow, they got a lot of yeah, shit. No, but going anyway, on. there's shit Square, going man. on. I just walked with my world. head down, point yeah. A to point B. There is a whole subculture yeah. of shit going on there. I get, and yeah. I tipped the guy five dollars. I said, and because he, he, the guy finally took everything out of his pocket, you know, all the money, and put it back. And I think some of it he kept, but you know, well, I just. Well, the thing is, yeah. like, you gotta be safe. I always tell her, like, because she leaves his bag with her money, and it's so dangerous. Like, I keep all my money in my boot or well, in my guitar. Should. Probably should. Very and chill. I have my case her. like right in front of me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so it's just dangerous because you have that bag, and so I just worry about that sometimes because you walk away from it. I know. I do. I do. Oh. I uh, like, Sandy, I know. See, you still you don't learn. People are people aren't nice. <laughs> you have, you you believe no. in people's good nature. I think, I think that's you're trusting, and you believe in people's good nature. Yeah. And as much as they've been terrible to you, you've been treated very very badly by a lot of people. Oh. And, but you but you do. <laughs> Sandy gets very emotional. It's when true, she right? We've never seen her times. get emotional. You you, you have a today. faith in people, and, and, it, and you it's try just... to believe they're going to love you and treat you right. And they treat you terribly time after time. Yeah, it's just slapped you in the face your whole life. Yeah, yeah. People Why, aren't very uh, nice. What happened? Oh, but what, say Sandy, the guitar. No, oh, no, not the guitar. But what is it? You want people to be like nicer to you, Sandy? Um, hey, everyone does. <laughs> no one's, you know, everyone's <laughs> life is like that, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I spoke to Jill, um, Anthony's um, ex, and she loved you so much, man. She loved you so much, and you cheated on her. Hey, and, don't get me involved in this yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, I am. Cause she told, she she's told a, me to she's tell a you. Sucker for a sobs. This one here. She, uh, she uh, told uh, me to tell you. She said, "You, you, you tell my toes, him." My toes are numb. You know. And, why and are you, you him, Why are you getting cheated. emotional about that? Why are you a little sad to No, I'm here. just saying. No, when it comes to you guys, that you know, she was. She's the most beautiful woman. I swear to God. I, I just said, I, my jaw dropped. I said, I can't believe that he cheated on a woman like you, man. They can't believe a guy looks like Jim Varney would cheat on you. Yes. 
<laughs> and we were talking. I said, no, I, I said, you know, Anthony, I can really see how you could love him. He's a very lovable man. He's a very good looking man. Oh, He's got a great course. body. And That's she fantastic. said, I really loved him very much. And he cheated, cheated on me with a 19-year-old, and I burnt her clothes and stuff. <laughs> yeah, and I burnt, burnt all the clothes and stuff. <laughs> she said, I really story. loved him. This is the most beautiful woman. You should have seen her. I, I, I couldn't said, why she you... walks into a room. She's got these titties all right, right. that come up like that. <laughs> she had a short skirt on, the legs I couldn't believe. The face was gorgeous. Hey, hey, she hey, was like, hey Sandy, you, and think, the, you think Anthony misses her? I think I I just can't believe that he just wouldn't even marry a woman like that because she was what? drop dead gorgeous and the sweetest woman. I don't marry anybody. Do you miss her? What? Do you miss Jill? No. The show's getting like all sentimental. Yeah, no I, know. I want to okay. know about like, Sandy though. I want to know about Sandy. Any you have Sandy yeah, Kane eyes. I'm just saying it. They're she beautiful. just told me. You got Sandy Kane eyes. <laughs> she, she, yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Hey, she is know, a nice sucker for a sob story. That's how you get oh, yeah. some, uh, yeah. you get some yeah, naked cop girls. Her hair is like polyester. I, I, mean, I broke my kneecap playing basketball when I was. You know, I'm going through a crisis right now, and you guys are What's with me. What's your crisis? And I, and I, the, the lawsuit, man. Yeah, that crisis. fucking lawsuit. I opened it up. There's fucking fuck? pelicans with oil on them. This is no crisis, lady. <laughs> yeah, no, you I'm just, settle down. Put things in perspective. Well, you know, are you it, feeling like you just you're tired of being kicked by people, and you're kind of tired of not getting what you want? You know, I'm I'm very I mean I know I'm emotional. I feel bad about the naked cowboy. I was a good friend to him. Oh. We worked for three years. No, and uh, are you, know, you new to guy? What, what? Wait, sh let her finish. No, we no Just we worked like you know, like she worked with him. Like I work with you. Yeah. And it's like you're suing me. It's like I went to Caroline's. I promoted his show. I sat there. He spent fifty five dollars. He didn't even put me on the fucking show. And all of a sudden he's fucking suing me. What Do you the feel fuck? betrayed by him? Betrayed? I'm very betrayed. Yeah. Here I try to put him on this on the record, my my baby, my song, and he all of a sudden he's suing me because of it. Hey man, um, I'm I'm very glad I'm all over the media, but also I'm very sad that he he did you know. Save your he, tears. It's the last bit of moisture in your body. <laughs> It's gonna uh, you know, crumble it, like you it, open the Ark of the Covenant. I, that's like a part of this that's just that that wasn't said. Is that she was friends with this guy? He, this he's not a, so, a stranger in your life. He's like a, somebody you know. Of course he is. Do you feel like he's another person that turned on you? And I'm not saying he is, yes. but do you feel like you trusted another yes. person that just yes. mistreated you? How would you like if they turned on you and, and sued you? Right, I would hate it. Oh. You know, and, right. Welcome it's to show happened. business. All of a yeah, sudden, exactly. It's, it's not like, show friends. Well, the book comes out. She came back last <laughs> week. My mother hung up on me the other sued. day. <laughs> it's almost like he done me for her. Yeah. A, stri a street wife. And you've, wow. been, and, and you've been treated, again, I, I, not no, to hop I mean, on, but you've been treated badly by a lot of people. And she yes. just turned on the young one. Like, the young one was like, oh, my gosh, she's my new auntie. And then she's and like, goes, hey, she's going to dump me for this cunt. Kind of this bitch over here. <laughs> and she's just like, damn, I, was, I felt bad for this fucking... No, I mean, it just happened. She came back last week, and well, all of a sudden I got well, papers. Let me ask you. Do you want to talk to... Then they can't, oh. well, you can't talk because you're litigating. So it's almost like you, you and your friend have this thing. Between you now, you can't speak to him even. So what would you say to him if oh, you could perfect. say it to him? Because that's what, you know, like the media said that, Channel 4. said, why don't you go over and talk to him? He was right across the street. No, I mean, um, I think um, he hates me uh, for, I think, you know, I, I think maybe because he's jealous. People have said that. He's, right. he's like jealous and, and, you know, the cops like tits and ass, you know? And, and, and they, you know, he's been doing the same shtick for 13 years. you got to change. No, but I mean, not, not even did. on that. His new act is suing you. <laughs> <laughs> but if exactly. You, as your friend, though, like, what would you say to your friend who betrayed you? Because I know you, this is not just about money. You feel yeah, like yeah. a guy that you really trust. What would you trusted. say to him, Sandy? Yeah, what would you Jimmy's say to him? Jimmy's got a great question. What would you, what would you say, say to him if he's listening Not right even now. angrily, but and most likely he is because we had him on the phone earlier. So um, what would you say to him? As a friend. Right now. Um, you know, I'm just saying, him and his fucking manager, man. No, I spoke to him on the phone last, uh, before this happened. He says, you are a classless uh, person. You have no class. Uh, my manager is good. You are bad. Your, your music sounds unprofessional. Not, not like mine. Mine's great. You suck. That is exactly what he said to me. So right. I'm, I'm going like, he's very angry at Problem. me. He, why is he angry at me? Right. Because yeah. he couldn't change. He's 40 years old. He's got to re-fucking invent himself. So don't blame me, motherfucker, for stealing your sh When I lost my television show, I couldn't sue anyone. When I lost it, I moved on. I had to move on. You've had a lot of stuff taken away from you, it seems. So it was, mm. That hasn't everybody, though, Jim. I mean, you, you always reinvent yourself. Opie and Anthony do. Yeah, we have to reinvent ourselves. I mean, don't I mean, and and 40 years old is a big time in a man's um, life, don't you think? 40. Yeah, it's tough. 
It is. It's tough, and you, and he's going through that right now. He's forty years old. A little midlife and, crisis kind yeah, of a thing. Yeah, he used to be there every fucking day. Every fucking day, he's not there anymore. But right? I don't think he has to be because he makes so much money now. Oh. He's got all this commercial stuff. He's big. He's like established his name, and now he's got us hustling out there. And every time someone sees us, they think of him. So he doesn't even have to be out there. Wow. What do you think of that? So. Well, when I think of that, I think he misses it. He misses being out there. He loved being out there. He was like all those girls and everyone, you know, just, uh, you know, exalting him. He loved the street. He was, you know, the, uh, the king of Broadway up there. And now he's not. It's not fucking working. It's Ooh. not working. Oh, Ooh. shit. Really? No, like my television just wasn't fucking Touché. working anymore. It's not fucking working. You know, and he's out there and, and he's just not fucking working. You know, sometimes you want it to work and it's not. That's that's the story with the naked cat. So he's suing me. He wants my fucking money and her fucking money. And it's like, uh, you know, hey, fuck you, naked cowboy. That's what I say to Whoa! you. Whoa! Right? Wow. No, that, that's a fuck you, man. And we support you, Sandy man. Kane. Yeah, I'm fucking out there. I'm fucking hustling. I went topless yesterday. So you say I'm stealing your thunder. I'm really stealing it because I'm fucking. My titties are, are down. Yeah. Damn. But he also said, Sandy. My, my titties are down. But you also had they your feelings. They certainly are. <laughs> oh, yeah. I. I I'm yeah, but you have to, like, I did it. I'm betrayed. I go, what? You know, they're, they're actually suing me? What the fuck? Jimmy I don't think, Walters. I, no, I don't think he is. I, I don't think, because, you know, the lawyer told me there's a distinguish. People don't think, you know, there's a distinguishing thing between yeah. a woman and a man. I'm the cowgirl. He's the cowboy. Right. I'm the cowgirl. <laughs> right. Yes. You're, you're the cowgirl. You're the cow patty. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I've been, I've been the cowgirl for three years. But she's paid but she's, her, she's the her cow dues girl. as far as, you know, uh, legally being able to be the cowgirl. And mm -hmm. people look at her and go, well, that's the naked cowgirl. And, and I'm then, the original. Yeah, and you just and came kind of swooping in. Three I'm not years against you. straight. Three years straight, I've been. She hasn't. She just came last week. And how long yeah. are you staying, naked cowgirl? I'll be here till September. See, but isn't right. she so, so I'm just here. I'm just here for, to make money for school, and it's really. I don't know. Do you, you live with school. The, do you live with the naked cowboy? No, I don't. He lives in New Jersey. Um, do you have a no, boyfriend? Do you live I with do. a boyfriend? Really? Well, I have a boyfriend, and he's from Italy, oh. and he's coming over uh, July eighth. And he'll uh -huh. be living with me. Oh, good. And Whoa. I'm so excited. We have this, like, international love affair. It's awesome. Well, we place him in amore. Amore. Hey, hey, he's hey. Italian. Hey. Anthony's Italian. Hey. hey. Yeah, it's so nice. Um, he Anthony, came see if to you can slip or something before the yeah, right this guy before, gets here. Yeah. Before her dago shows up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he came to live with me for three months in Portland, and then I went there for spring break, and then now he's coming here. So yeah. This is going to be the deciding gonna, factor if we get Is he going to teach you how to drive? <laughs> Sound that Monday, Wednesday, Friday, <laughs> and then the car blows up and you look like Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Sandy. Oh, I'm kidding. Sandy knows I'm poor joking. Sandy, you know, she's, she's getting her beaten heart. up this week. She's getting oh, a bad week, man. Pouring her heart no, out. I mean, and... I'm, I'm glad I'm with you guys, and I hope you you support me with this lawsuit because it's... Uh... Well, you know we're your true friends. Yes. We tease you, but yeah, we're yeah, your we, true we, friends. We, we, we do tease you. you. And I'll admit, Sandy, sometimes we go a little too far. But you know what? Uh, we're, we've been a uh, radio family here for many years, and you are included in that radio family. Yes. You're the part of the family that we don't really want in the pictures. <laughs> but, but you're, you're always, part of the family. always in the YouTube. But you yes. know that you're loved here. And this is a place where you can come where your friends are, uh, you know, going to tease you a little bit, but that's Today, what we do. Today, man, well, hey, we're comics, you know, I mean, we're comics. Um, and the cowboy also feels bad about it. He tried to do comedy, man. You don't just get up and be, and be the belle of the com comedian world. Uh, Lou Ferrandi threw, threw his fucking Lou ass Ferrandi, out, no, man. What? I can you only know? imagine what he says. Like, what does the cowboy have to say? Like... He just says the same thing over and over again. Wow, you're Times trashing Square, the cowboy like, now. I like wow. it. I'm just saying, I can cow imagine him as a cowboy. comedian. Girl power. I oh, like what, this. What does he say in Times Square? Because I've never seen him do his thing. He says, I'm the naked cowboy. I'm the naked cowboy. But it's just funny because he has these funny he lines. He stinks. He's <laughs> horrible. Once you hang out with him, He's like, a hack. you hear his he lines. Play and, like, you just get yeah. used to his lines. But I'm just Terrible. curious what he would have to say in stand-up. Comedy. Do you I think would he love would have to see I parked at a red light. He was um, doing fuck songs. He was doing he uh, Can We Fuck for Fun. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, he did a fuck song, and my Whoa, baby really? farts when she comes. And he makes his wow. money by selling, what, pictures for 10 bucks? 
No, he doesn't I charge, don't I don't think. Really? He does charge. I, say, I think it's for tips, isn't it? Oh, no, it's wow. 10 bucks. I think he charges 10 tips fucking dollars. No, he's not going to call it really? tips. Sandy's emotional today. Is it like your what? 50th anniversary of menopause? Uh, That's funny. No, <laughs> yeah, I, I, on, I think so uh, my Very heart emotional. is open. Um, and, yeah, unfortunately um, not. <laughs> um, and I, I'm really glad to be here. You're an open Aww. person. Like You allow yourself to be teased and stuff. But you're, you're a pretty open person. And, uh, Thank you. You know, people forget that you have feelings, too, and that, uh, yeah. you know, getting kicked around, it's, it sucks after a while. And this naked cowboy is trying to destroy you. Destroy your livelihood and kick you out onto the street. Yeah, it's good. like right. You take my job away. It's the only uh, job I ever liked, and and I get respect and I make money. What, you so what would you do, Sandy, if if you didn't do this? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, I'm gonna do this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That same question. The cops to you, love me, sure. man. The cops like me. The what cops you rule in Times Square. This? If I and, didn't do this. Yeah. What would you be doing? Well, I'm going to school, so hopefully I don't have to do this forever. Right. Um. This is just a job for me That's to make money. Sandy so you don't really have so, a plan. You know what? Hope, hope I, have, plan. I am going to school so I can get a career one day like you. Young but what do you want? Man. What do you want to do? <clears throat> uh, get into social work, probably do counseling of some sort. Probably in hope. <laughs> you just, you're a mess. <laughs> you're what? a mess. A lot of probably in hopes. Back when I was a horrible human being, those, those are words I look for. Probably hope I'm thinking of it's just, you're well, just a no, mess. Well, no, I mean, if you want me to be like direct and assertive with yes, what I'm saying, yes, I, I will be a counselor one day. I am. Going no to one dreams to be I a fucking counselor. Graduate. Nobody. Oh, yeah. Well, my thing is this: you're if a you... naked panhandler. <laughs> I know. Now I'm you want to counsel me on something, you fucking psychopath? I'm gonna have to definitely change take, my name. Take this like... forty dollars for your books and come on over and <laughs> dance for me Maybe and my I'll girlfriend. Be like an inspirational speaker. You know, yeah, you I go. don't think you're going to be a counselor. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you're going to be a social worker. There's no money in that either. Fuck out of here. I don't think you're going to be a social worker. Fuck out of here. I don't think you're going to be a social worker. She probably makes a half a million fucking begging for money with her shitty guitar. <laughs> no, and now she's going to she's gonna go down to 20000 a year. Right, exactly. You're going to be a counselor? For showing those perky tits. Some, now you're going to put a sweater on it and make thirty. Uh, Two hundred and seventy thousand dollars less. All yeah. you have to do is write a book, and you're golden. Oh, okay. So yeah. write a book about your experiences. I could, yeah, yeah. And then I'll just go and like inspire people. I mean, if you go to high schools and speak, they pay you like two thousand dollars an hour. Don't make, make sure you don't go there and uh, you end up supporting Giuseppe or whatever his name is. <laughs> That's what she's she, she, she gonna marry him. She's goofy. Geppetto. Well, <laughs> well, what does he do for a living? Yeah, Nothing. What, is, what does Geppetto do? What does he do for a living in Italy? <laughs> Geppetto. <laughs> he, um, he's in like the hotel. Business. So he makes you know, a waiter. He's a douche. He does like uh, I don't know. He's done the managing a casino of like um hotel like management, gala dinners and things like that. Bella. He called her Bella. Yeah, yeah. Shit. Like the movie. Bella. Ah, Bella get Bella. Bella. He's really dark and shit. At Bella. Well, mm -hmm. let's wrap up with these two because uh, we got to take a leak. And I got Sandy Kane needs her naked cowboy song on the oh, radio. Well, let's hear. Can we just hear? Well, it? Yeah, we'll play. And if anybody wants to go to my website, nakedcowgirlny.com. It's crashed right now. It's so big. I know. So much People are hitting it. I just called my web girl today. It'll be back up. Okay. All right. Naked um, Cowgirl NY. And, and you're on 46th and Broadway? 46th and Broadway. Come see me and take a picture. And where can they Sandy take a picture of you? Any, any cooch pics of you anywhere? We're topless in the cooch. fucking house seat. And we, we, we go topless. No? Uh, Two bitches. Know. Only in fucking Times Square. Somewhere. You know? Only in Times Square. Yeah. But now we're awesome. I'm, wait, I'm waiting for the cowboy to take his dick out. Uh, oh, yeah. Should, yeah. Should Wouldn't the two that be girls, great? Should the two girls he's hug? Fuck you, rape you with it because yeah. he's <laughs> taking your Oh, there's a rape. There's, there's, a, there's a naked cowboy rape story uh, coming uh, very uh, soon. I, I think he pants the fucking undies, too, uh, to be honest. Oh, yeah. 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 Balls, I think the extra. cowboy definitely puts a sock in there or something. Yeah, yeah. huh? Yeah, yeah. All right. Why don't right. you guys hug? Yeah. Who? Me and her? I think you need a hug. Yeah. Hey. Not hug? from her. Why? Why? Because she's a woman. She didn't do anything bad to you. A hug is nice. No, it's just like not oh. a woman. Woman. I'm. I'm very heterosexual. All right, listen. Wow. We're gonna play your like song. I like a man. Sandy King, this is what got you in trouble. The naked cowboy. He taught me how to love. Right. I'm not gonna play the whole thing. Let's hear it. Yeah. Let's, <laughs> let's hear. Let's hear. Let's hear. Okay. Can I just? The, there's a story behind it. Was the producer uh, in Nashville put a, a male uh, voice on it? Yeah. And Wait, hold on. I want, I want. We should film the story because I want to know what this, your side of the story. The naked cowboy is suing you for this. Yes, okay. yeah. He's saying this song. Is, What's he saying? He's saying this song 
is basically that you were saying that he was honest. So what is the story of this Naked Cowboy now, this, song? The this, this story is, I said to him and his manager, why don't you put your voice on it? Maybe we can, we can do a collaboration and get a deal. So I ma mailed the um, manager and I gave Robert, he was in Times Square, a copy of um, He Told Me How to Love, uh, Cindy Kane featuring the Naked Cowboy. And I told him I'm writing the name so you could see when it's on Billboard's charts featuring the Naked Cowboy. Cowboy. I told him it, ne it never it never came out. The song never came out. He never put his voice on it because he wanted five thousand dollars. So and so this is the um, song with a, a male voice on it. Sandy Kane featuring a male voice. And we, we, it was originally. Played here. Play the second verse. I got back from Nashville. Oh, 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 oh. They just ain't been the same. <laughs> Since I met that man named Jimmy and Anthony oh, 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 and Sam oh, oh, oh. and Jim. Oh, oh, oh. Gang. Oh. He. He told me how to screw you. He showed me what to do. He taught me how to love. And I screwed him too. Why, why does he have to always go in the toilet? He taught me how to love. Come on. Come on. <laughs> we did it, Sandy. We did it. We did it. I'm, I'm the naked flautist. <laughs> Fuck. That really sounded fucking good. It was all right, man. You sound pretty good on the CD. That should be the end. Right. Every I, time our show I'm, ends, that clip has to be played. That, that sounded is, really fucking good. Yeah, that was good, man. Thank you. Sandy Sirius Kane. fucking satellite, baby, in the fucking house. Sir. It is the right. house. We're going to take house. a break. We support you, Sandy Kane. Yes, yeah, Sandy Kane. The Naked Don't Cowboy is a piece of shit. Hello? And the naked, <laughs> the other naked cowgirl is really hot. Naked yes, cowgirl. Yeah. All right. So. If, you need, if you need any Italian cock before your Italian arrives, I'm, uh, you know, you know where to find me. Hey, Jill in the fucking house. Uh, no, can don't we just worry go to break it. now? Uh, hey, Jill, baby. Yeah. Jill. Tomorrow, right? Thursday? Tomorrow, one show, yeah. And then two Friday, two Saturday, heliumcomedy.com. Go see Patrice O'Neill, Philly. Hey, thanks for the plug, guys. You could do theaters in Philly if you wanted to. So probably you, you could. Yeah. So if, you could, if you're there, you get tickets because Patrice could be doing a theater together. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, wow, we was... just did the Vic together, dude. It was fun, man. I thought it was. Cool. In Chicago? Yeah, yeah, I liked it. I heard uh, nothing but great reviews about Those that show. Those people had a good show. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, the Naked Cowgirl and uh, Sandy Kane are gone. Uh, that was, she was uh, nice, man. The, 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 uh, the one we don't know was actually really nice. She's a nice girl. Lou. Yeah. Big mutton head. Yeah. <laughs> mutton head. Fucking head like a turkey leg. <laughs> 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 Took that hat off and that big moon head tied her. <laughs> I want to be You weren't somebody. feeling it. You weren't ah. feeling it? No, I was after a while, but then you just watch her and her fucking virtue and her horseshit. Uh, yeah. She don't know what she's going to do. She's going to end up like Sandy Kane. It's another just, yeah, she doesn't want to be a one counselor. Of those situations where... Who, no one wants to be a counselor. She just said that definitively that uh, I want to be a counselor. Especially really? at 27 when you're in the public eye already, making pretty good money probably, and then all of a sudden, yeah, really going to give all that up to be a counselor? Yeah. She's way past her doing something years. Yeah, she should have been doing something. You don't do nothing. You you already been doing it for seven years. You made a choice. If she's standing on the fucking corner there after 25 years old, oh, there's a problem. Yeah, I'm telling you, that's a, she's, yeah. you know, God bless her. Mm -hmm. I hope I see some naked, I, I I, I'm, I'm hoping there's some naked something of her. It's her perky titties. Really? Little, little, little sweet tits in yeah. there. Yeah, 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 but yeah. she was a mug. Yeah. 
Just a mug. <laughs> mug. No woman wants to be called a mug. No. The, the cowboy hat dressed her up nice. The cowboy hat. So she took that she hat took off. She took that it. hat off. I, she had a head like Bluto from Popeye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to put up with her fucking standing Bluto. there. <laughs> If she gets competition from a hot <laughs> chick, it's very easy to you were, do. You were annoyed because we were trying to get out of the studio, and her guitar case is in the way. She's in the way, and you're just like, "We just fucking move." I gotta, oh, I gotta go take a leak. Just there with her fucking special. You just equipment. weren't feeling it. Her fur guitar case and a shitty. How just, about Santa Kane almost completely breaking down? Yeah, yeah, she that does that very... anyway. I, I wasn't She's even never come never, close never to even that. Come close. Really? Never come Sandy close to showing an emotion. Never. Really? Never. Not even close. A little anger when we do shit to her, but never but that. that. No, never. She was so the naked, the naked cowboy up. thing got to her. Really and the rapes and the violence. Everything. It's a weird thing she's doing. Like she's looking at things and going, "Like I've really mistreated my." Like she's really feeling lonely and awful. Right now. So you say she blamed stand? the rapes on herself? Like it just she yeah. ends up in bad situation because because no one is serial raped. Is, is does that she's even a, happen? I know she was a sex worker though. Like she was a fucking yeah, she's in strip. The like she did like the peep and shows and all stuff. sorts of shit. That whole thing where she was describing though how it was a good feeling like. Ooh, that's odd. It was a connection and then yeah yeah she, some kind of connection she, and she'll then she get just die she'll die before she mind. or yeah. she'll she wants to live and it's like the man. cock was life. The cock to her was life. Oh, now she's trying to get raped. Yeah, no, <laughs> she could. Jesus, not even close. Wow, she oh, opened damn. up though. Yeah, Fuck. those big eyes. She's pretty. See, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm looking Ooh. through the oldness. Oh yeah, she tough to do. do she yeah. has big, beautiful eyes. That lady, like. She's not an ugly woman at we all. We can't find she an old picture of like. her. I wish you knew what, I, what she looked like in her uh, old This is a curiosity. I would love to younger, see though. what she looks like in her prime. Well, Remember, no we've seen sure. her younger, but like 20 years ago, but she was still like uh, dicey. What do you mean? Remember the interview we saw her? Didn't we see her do an interview where she was yeah, like... Even that wasn't like that old. Like, she was still pretty old. In that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was like 20 yeah, years ago. Yeah, she was 60 then. Yeah. Yeah, I want to see a picture of her like in her 20s. 20s, man. Because yeah. she's pr she's a pretty woman, man, uh, Sandy. Uh, big well, no. eyes, big you eyes. You see that man. she... I can't look through the old. May have been with you the can't eyes. Even, I can't you chisel, can't look through the old. I can't chisel through that. <laughs> that I see, you see those eyes, man. You see where she, she just was. Oof. She was. I bet she was better looking in this 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 one here, the young one, when she was younger. When she was that age. I bet you she was a better looking woman than than this fu this fucking one y'all. Yeah, I wouldn't bet you on that. Twirling around. I wouldn't bet bro. you on that. I don't, I'd, I'd arrest her too if I was a cop. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just just for well, audacity. Really, you think you're hot? Mutton head. A lot of people <laughs> reacting to that segment. Uh, mm -hmm. Pirate trucker in Nebraska. What's up? Um, I was gonna call in and say you should hook up. Uh, Victim number one was Derek, victim number two, and send them up to Harlem. But then I started feeling bad for Sandy. That was kind of like, you know, trying to put your grandma in a home when she doesn't want to go. I just feel <laughs> bad. Yeah, the <laughs> naked. <laughs> that is fucked up. You know what? The naked cowboy's doing just fine. He's got all these products and stuff. He's he's a piece of shit. He really is her, in the end. Just her leave, leave her the fuck alone. Pretty good. Um, what Anthony should do is wait for the naked cowboy to sue and get control of Sandy Kane, then sue and get control of the naked cowboy because Anthony's the original, and then he'll have control of Sandy Kane. No, I think that the naked cowboy, I think, honestly tried to let her do her thing for a long time. Like, he never bothered her but until he, she's just... But how much money could she be making where well, he's making a big deal out of it? Can you he's, imagine if that was if, if that monster took your brand and was standing there? You'd be like, Ugh. is she really though? Ugh. I mean, it's not oh, even man. it's not even close to the same. He's thing. a fucking street bum who made good. I don't know how he's doing it. So, yeah. I, I don't know how there's not uh, not other men just like, oh, I'm in good shape. Let me go pretend to play a guitar. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> you try to give me a season to assist, I'll punch you in the fucking face. Yeah, you like a, you'll fight over it. Like, yeah, how does yeah. he? I know he probably has to have a permit to be there and all kind of goofy shit. But what's all his products, by the way? What is he fucking? Uh... Naked uh, cowboy selling. draws, probably. He said Barbecue oysters. He said fucking, oyster. uh, you know, because that's like an aphrodisiac. Uh, oh. Probably deodorant. Oh, it's the world we live in, man. That's fucking There's idiot. people out there that eat this shit up, obviously, because he's making down. a good living. Fucking Just, some fucking home bum that looks like Thor, and he can't play the guitar, and and he's fucking with old Sandy, who's trying to make two dollars, and you know no one's fucking giving her money. <laughs> yeah, how much money could she possibly be making? The next couple of days a lot because she's been all over the news, but then that'll feel Yeah. Good. And the cops probably fuck with him, too. Yeah, just let that old... $50 t-shirt? Yeah. What? 
Yeah, what does he got on his site? The fuck is that? 50 bucks for a t-shirt? Are you kidding me? Who the me? fuck would wear a naked cowboy t-shirt? Well. Hmm. And you guys interviewed him before? Special mention yeah. in a song, performance yeah, on a CD. I, I didn't like it all. $10,000 for, for a naked cowboy undie party? What? $20,000 for the Naked Cowboy in concert? Who the fuck's pay- No one's paying 20000 to see Somebody, him. I bet you some, there's some rotten bitches that pay him 10 Gs to do a house party, though. Oh, no way. God, I, I bet 25 you. bucks an autograph, $50 for a T-shirt. Yeah, this guy's fucking... What is he, out of his mind? I want to see his products. Oh, I guess he's not out of his mind if people are buying them. The oh, t-shirts look, look great. horrible. <laughs> they really look and I've been, horrible. And I've been waiting to get a website thinking that you have to have a good one. Yeah, no. Nah. This <laughs> fucking horse shit. A naked cowboy guitar what? for a thousand bucks. What is that? One he played or something? He, no, he probably goes to a shit store, picks up a shit guitar, puts some stickers on it. And says, there you go. There you go. A grand. Right, naked yeah, cowboy right. concert for $20,000. Naked cowboy and his band... Will travel to your uh, town and put on a concert for your event. You must provide a venue. You can charge admission, promote your product, and make uh, your money back. Anything with him playing? Like with him that would show why he's worth twenty thousand dollars? Yeah, twenty thousand well, for him to fucking play. Well if he has a website, you would assume he would have a song or a sample. Yeah, on maybe there. a sample and on If there. he doesn't, that would say a lot. God damn. That's pretty bad. None of his links work. What is what? I think I hate him. <laughs> I think I hate him. I, I, at first, you drive by him and go, eh, "He's fuck not likable." And it's just now you just go, "Really?" He's not he like ah, fuck him. Twenty thousand dollars. Can't you fucking Time get like? Square. I can't wait till they run him off and they tell him he has to put on real like, pajamas because <laughs> there's too many kids out with your with your fake ball sack hanging out. <laughs> fucking disgust me. President Obama is meeting with the general as we speak. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, as we speak. He is getting his ass reamed we, right now. Just about all of us can relate to that type of a meeting. What the <laughs> fuck you telling to the motherfucking Rolling Stone, bitch? What are you doing? That's um, what Obama's probably saying to him. What are you doing? What are you doing? Wait, we can't find fucking vi- uh, audio of this guy? We have to go to YouTube? So his own website is Obama's happy, Ant? No. <laughs> he is not a happy man right now. There's no audio of him on his own site? Not, a, not on his website, no. Wow, wow, wow. And not, not on YouTube? Well, you got some basic kinda, YouTube shit. Nothing, huh? Someone with their camera right now. 20 Gs for this motherfucker to just go... His vroom, is vroom, 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 vroom. <laughs> He strums. Yeah. Yeah, and, and says little bad hack jokes. Here's what I will do, is give him credit for the fact that one day he woke up and said, I'm going to just fucking play... The horse shit guitar with my balls out in Times Square, and it became something. So he had a belief system. You're going to be a bum, naked cowboy. Because <laughs> <laughs> he ain't got no job. <laughs> I'm just going to walk Times Square, be myself. <laughs> You're a it's bu- called a bum, naked cowboy. It's called cowboy. a bum, naked cowboy. <laughs> I'm just going to walk the earth and play <laughs> bad music. <laughs> walk the earth. <laughs> I gotta take a I gotta take a shit. <laughs> if you don't like what I'm, if you don't like what I'm, if what I say, if you fear what I say, yeah. <laughs> then cease to ask those scary questions. What is that? <laughs> what movie is that? Fucking Pulp, Pulp Fiction. Fiction, stupid! Wow, I don't remember that. That's the best scene in the movie. Oh uh, yeah. His Facebook I has am the no strong, samples. and you are the naked cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Uh, what a tool! Why don't he just fucking? He has the audacity to charge audacity. $20, That's what it is. Just audacity. Yeah. And you can't even go to his website to see what he sounds like to decide if you want him. Is there anything with sound? We're looking. We have that that he's been looking the whole fucking time. It's fucking YouTube. See. Well, I'm saying there's. I mean, there's. Does, he, does he talk? Like I, I just want to hear him. Twenty thousand dollars for a naked cowboy concert? They got no bourbon in it. <laughs> 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 I'd pay this just boot this motherfucker. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, the ground. Uh, that him? Close it on. So it's like, are you getting good? is the name of the... Are you getting that good exposure? Yes, Here. Is he gold is the name of the... Could you I was hoping he was no, going to be playing on this. This is perfect. Is he gold? What would you call right? 
Is he going? Is he going? Yeah. But it's not just music. It's, it's music, or fashion. I just want to get him but it's, yeah, it's really a record label. Could, could, could you get over here? Like, I think the light would be a lot better. Oh, we can explore the computer. What are you doing? Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. So just get him, like, zoom in on him. Yeah. And all, all I want you to do for me, man. Uh, yeah, the ship is going to light. I'm taking travel. Hanging out with Dizzy Ghost. I'm a naked child or hanging out with Dizzy Ghost. Dizzy. We'll have to take it back because he doesn't play guitar. Dizzy ain't Dizzy Ghost. <laughs> I owe him an apology. Dizzy is Dizzy ain't Dizzy Ghost. Look at that. I think that's awesome. Just give, me, just give me one really quick. Me look at the camera and just say, Pat Young, you rock. Pat Young? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My mom's name is Pat Young. She keeps fucking famous. Pat Young, you rock. Be home soon, Mom. <laughs> well, I'm the naked cowboy. You gotta oh. do what you gotta do. Naked cowboy here at Izzy Golds. <laughs> well, he yeah. doesn't know how to play the guitar. Yeah. Cause all I see him doing is go vroom 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 oh, vroom in the time square. Like, it's fuck just yeah, the I'm the naked cowboy thing all the time. And his and I'm gonna tell you, the, the, you know, the guy's built like a fucking Greek god, right? So you know he's been offered porn. He was in Playgirl. But what? I know he's been offered dirt porn, like, like regular porn. Shit. So that means he's just making money. He just, he just says no to he can say no to shit. Right. Oh, he can make money in the porn. I think you're right. Yeah, yeah, so porn, he must be doing yeah, okay. So yeah, porn. Right. I'm sure they offered him fucking probably a mill to do some porn. Yeah, they probably said they wanted him to be with like a a, a cow uh, horse or something. You know. Shit. <laughs> 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 World Cup. Uh, well, it's the USA and no uh, Algeria. Why would there be a score? It's a Why story. would there be? Oh, it's, just, it's, it's a dumb good game. Sport. It's a good game. The back line of the. Um, the oh, here we go. This giant field. Yeah, you and, see that um, guy when he kicks it to that guy. It's awful. It's like a fucking. It's like a runway. Oh, and <laughs> God, suckers, dumb sport. It just looks exhausting. Oh, go USA! <laughs> Goal USA! No, I'm kidding. Nothing. Hey guys, USA. thanks. I man. just I got appreciate a bunch of people getting all like, "Where are you going?" I gotta go. Yeah, go I appreciate away. you guys. Being oh, really? Here. Fucking hey, thanks for having me, man. I'm really you're feeling really the energy it. just leaving the room and yeah. you want out. <laughs> yeah, you're sinking shit, man. Party. I want to swim. You know, black people <laughs> swim. Patrice doesn't want to be part of the last fucking uh, 15 minutes. Uh, no, I'm always a part of it. I just got to go. That's all. Uh, but, uh, guys, thank you. If all of a sudden we're hey, looking at World welcome. Cup soccer, you know we're yeah. struggling. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what else? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what are we going to make out of World you, Cup? I know why he's leaving because he wants to be in the car by 11 for my Boneyard show. I understand that. Shit. Today at 11. My show on the music channel, Boneyard, I have one every Wednesday. You know what, fuck it, let's get oh, out of here. Early. I have my trainer, and I want to, like, take Series a nap 19. before he comes over, uh, Bye, because I, I'm very tired. Let's get the fuck out of here. Fuck it. Patrice, yeah, thank you. Helium Comedy Club. Early. This weekend, Early Thursday, Friday, and Saturday in Philadelphia, all right? Yes, and Big Mama right. Prods on Twitter. Appreciate it like always. Take yes. care. Yes. All right, guys. We're going. Uh, we're going home ourselves. Fuck it. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck you guys. You guys leave early sometimes, listeners. Right. Right? Answer. Oh, it's one way. Shit. Forget about this radio thing.